It says we're live. Yeah. Damn, we're <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, everybody. Um, I can present myself right quick. Welcome to the auction tonight with me and Casey. We have lots of stuff for you this evening. Um, looks like we've got how many people, Casey? Uh, we have 22 now. Okay, we got 22 watching. Give us a thumbs up. Uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Click that bell to get notified when we do go live or if we uh, upload a video. Um, I want to say hey to a few people. Hey, Anita. I see Linda Peters, Selena, Miss Darlene, E. Mama's here. Darlene Buckland's here. I think I saw Cindy. Yeah, there's Cindy Loves Jewelry, Cindy. We've got Dia, Elizabeth, and we did get your information, Elizabeth, so thank you. Carol, Barb's here. So we got a good, good crowd so far. And I am going to let Casey go first. He's going to start showing his stuff, and I'm going to let him say hello. Let me get it swapped over to you. It's, it's been on me the whole time. Has it? Well, yeah. it was supposed to be presenting me, so I'm sorry. I can't help that. The camera is just naturally drawn to me. <laughs> Joking. Okay. So um, I'll go ahead and get started. We do have quite a bit of items here. Um, so we're going to do this as our last auction rather quick. Um, and you guys, if you have anything that you want to send to someone, please wait until we send the email of your items and the totals and let us know, hey, I want this item to go to this person. That way we can probably calculate the um, shipping and then we don't get the items mixed up. Um, so to start, I do have a leather jacket here. Oh, and I don't mean to interrupt, but yeah, also a reminder to pay within 48 hours and our information is below. Um, so that's the email you'll send it to when the the video feeds over with or if you're leaving and you're going on to bed or something like that if you'll just go ahead and send that email to us so that way we can be working on that first thing tomorrow yeah hey Faye. all right you guys so we do have a genuine leather jacket here and nice. it's iron bird it is a riding jacket so if you are a biker or if you are an old lady not an old lady but if you are someone's old lady then this would be your type of jacket. It is black and white leather, and on the back it does have the padding and everything. We're gonna start this one at 35. So $35 for this riding jacket. And on the back, you can see here that it does have the zippers. Mm -mm. Well, it's got the Harley emblem, Mom. But it says Iron Bird. Mm, let's see it. Let's let's see closer. So it does say Harley Davidson. Nope. Oh, it says oh. Iron Bird right here. Oh, but it's, it's the Iron Harley Davidson Bird. emblem. So I'm not oh. sure if it is maybe an Iron Bird brand of Harley Davidson. Um, I just know that it is a genuine leather jacket. But um, okay. the size of it is large, and it fits me. So $35 for anyone who wants the jacket. Okay. So it kind of fits like an extra large or, or do you normally wear large? I don't know. In jackets, I can wear large to an extra large, but this goes down to my waist. Okay. And I would stand up and show you all how it fits on me, but I forgot that I was doing the jacket and I've got on booty shorts. <laughs> so it's hot in Alabama. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting um, all a full show tonight. <laughs> right. Um, so $35. We'll give it about another minute and a half, maybe two minutes. If no one wants it, then I will set it aside. Okay. Hi, Hedwig and Francis. Hi, Carmen. Look, okay, I'll stand up. <laughs> <clears throat> Uh, Barb said, laugh out loud, sexy shorts. <laughs> okay, so mom said that it is a true Harley. Okay, that's cool. It's a nice jacket, definitely. Let's see the back side. 
Oh yeah. And these are like pads. It's really weird. So anyway, yeah, um, I heard that it uh thirty-five dollars bar. Um, I heard that it snowed in Montgomery not too long ago. I was for Barb. I didn't bid. Show the tag. Hold on. Okay, it is um it is standard. Um Valerie, it's a large. And you know what? Y'all just gonna have to see my thighs. Y'all can see my tattoo as well. Oh. And it's a size large, uh, right? Yeah. No, Mike. There are no other tags on the inside. Yeah, it's a large. Tell me the name of it again. I'm gonna Google it too, just to see. Um, Iron Bird. Iron Bird. I haven't put this thing on in a long time. Woo. I can't get it past my boobies. All right, y'all, that's too hot for this. Oh, I don't know why, but when I Googled it, it came up uh, Thunderbirds instead of Ironbirds. <laughs> It must be vintage. Is it vintage? Um, I would say maybe 90s, which, of course, is considered vintage now. But um, it's just um, Ironbird motorcycles produced by Turok, T-U-R-A-C. So because we have a lot of items, I'm going to set that aside. And if you want to think about it, we will come back to it. Um, so just know $35. The next thing that we're going to go to is a genuine leather purse, and it is mm -hmm. by Wilson's Leather. No, oh, I think Mike's wanting to see the tag really close, right quick before you get inside. On. Bottom. You know, he's into the motorcycle stuff. Um, Mike, near the bottom of it. Oh, there it is. Produced by Turok. Mm -mm. The inside tag right here is it just says Ironbird Motorcycles. And other than that, the only other tags that I can see are in the top right there. Mm. Hey, Barbara. Miss Darlene said it is older. Okay, now it came up. Woo! One of them's listed on eBay. It has a big eagle patch on the back, but it's listed on eBay for $289.99. All right, well, since no one's interested, you can buy it on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> you might want to set that over to the side. <laughs> forget, forget he even mentioned it. <laughs> right. But, um, we do have That's the only thing that I found when I typed in Turac, T U R A C. Uh huh. Yeah, that's when I finally found it. And this one is, of course, genuine leather. And it is the Wilson Leather brand. There it is. Really pretty, like brick kind of red. Yes. And this one, we're starting it at 15. And it does have the um, the bottom here so that when you set it down, it doesn't fall over. All right. It's got the feet, sort of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's got a zipper on the back. And then this here is more so for decoration. I mean, you can. Undo yeah, I opened it. it up. I was like, I don't even understand, but it's cute. <laughs> right. So it's more just so this thing on the front is just for decoration. And lots of space on the inside and it is perfectly clean 
and fifteen dollars for anyone who wants this awesome we got cindy at 15. And again it does say genuine leather which the um wilson leather company um they i i would i assume that they're like the premiere because anytime i i see any real leather like this it's always the wilson leather company yeah we um we do up here in atlanta and around this area we have those um outlet places and there's a wilson outlet there and you go in there their handbags their jackets all that stuff are pretty expensive yeah all right um since she can't she can't send it to a pretty purse well i've got some other ones as well so um it looks like cindy is the only one interested in this um i'll give it about another second or two and then i'll go ahead and say cindy can have it excuse me i should have drank that coffee all right you guys and there's the feet and you can looks, see you want to just go ahead and sold immaculate all right yep go ahead and say sold to cindy for 15. all right there you go cindy thank you, you Sandy. All right, next on the list, we do have an Etienne Agna purse here. And there's the, the brand there. This one is starting at 15 as well. I'll get there. <laughs> I was trying to write it down too. We go and it's also marked here Eigner. and the inside of it is perfectly clean and here you see it says genuine leather at and Eigner. all right we got Cindy at 15. she can buy and all the handbags Huh? <laughs> She's gonna buy all the handbags. Hey, you know what? I'm perfectly fine with that. Oh yeah, definitely. And it is a rather long, long shoulder strap. Well, it looks like Janice won't make it. She said she's got to work a little bit later and babysit somebody's puppy. I think she said. Oh. <laughs> bless her speaking of uh babysitting puppies in january i've got to um i've got to babysit jonathan and angela's dog xena i'm gonna come play with her then you should because i'm gonna be at my aunt's house by myself for a few days <laughs> not there not there day and night but um hopefully without jonathan and angela there she'll cuddle with me but um the inside is really nice all right. Well, if no one else is interested, I guess we got sold to Cindy. Thank you, Cindy. There we go. All right. And I've got one more purse. And this one I didn't want to sell because I like my other BB bag, but this one is BB brand and it's got these ringlets here. And it is a coral pink color. This one is starting at 15 as well. Okay. And you've got a lot of space right there. And these are uh, magnetic closures. And you've got a lot of space right there. And then you also have the middle zipper here. It kind of, I hate to say it like this, but it kind of reminds me of a womb. Carmen's at 15. Thank you, Carmen. Oh, and now I she wish. wants to do research for some jewelry. <laughs> huh? What'd you say? She's going to send me a picture of a vintage piece of jewelry with some, uh, so I can research it for her. All right, so anyone else interested in this beautiful handbag? All right, so it looks like we've got Carmen at 15. So if you want to go ahead and call it. 
All right. Well, if my mouse will work, I can. <clears throat> Carmen, I'm going to put you down for 150 yeah. minutes. So it's Carmen for 15. Thank you, Carmen. Thank you, Carmen. All right. Um, so now, you guys, I'm going to put you in my lap. Going to rock us to sleep, too? Yes. Awesome. All right. So the next thing that we have, and these are starting out at 15. We have a pair of Napier earrings. And these are gold-toned. And as you can see, they are in perfect condition. And they are marked Napier. Now the backs of them, and I don't know why I said backs that way, but um, the backs here, they are mismatched. This one says Napier and the other one says Monet. So just know that you're not buying them for the backs, you're buying them for the actual earrings. But right there, let me see if I can get it closer. There we go. Right there, it does say Napier. And I doubt y'all can see that. And it doesn't help that I shake like crazy. Right there. All right. $15 for these Napier pierced earrings. If no one is interested, then these will be going in my Etsy store. So speak now or forever hold your peace. <laughs> okay, one. All righty. So yeah, I guess we'll go to ahead. the next item. Put those there. Now, the next one that we have, it is new with tags. It is Lauren Ralph Lauren. You can see here. Well, let me turn it right side up. Lauren Ralph Lauren. And it does have genuine semi-precious stone. And what are we starting at on this one? This one is 15. Okay. And you can see the tag here. And we did look up the original price on that one. This one, I think it was about 80 bucks. I think so, something like that. And this would definitely be a, um, a Poshmark piece. And I think we um, we decided that this was what, a Venturi? Yes. Yes, because I looked it up and found the exact necklace, and that's what it listed it as. Yeah. New with tags, a Venturian and gold tone, $15. That's a long one. Yeah. It's not quite a hoo-ha necklace, but it's definitely a, a booby necklace. <laughs> All right, we got 49 watching, guys. Y'all give us a thumbs up. All right. Anyone, anyone, anyone? All right. I'm trying to help y'all out. Listen stuff in my shop for cheap. This is going <laughs> to go in my shop for about 70 bucks, y'all. Hoo-ha <laughs> <laughs> is the technical term. Uh, let's see. Did somebody ask? I must have missed it. <laughs> All right, y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and move on. That one is going into my Poshmark. The next one that we have, we do have a Demi Peru. It is gold toned Sarah Coventry. There, let's see it there. It kind of looks like a, a Christmas tree. This one, we're starting it at 15 as well. And there is the tag 
It says Sarah Cove. Well, it actually just says Coventry. No, nope, it does say it says Sarah Cove. $15 for this one, and it has the matching earrings. There it is. All right, we got Cindy in at 15. <clears throat> All right, give it a couple more seconds. If no one wants to go higher than 15, we will give it to Cindy. And Mike, and Mike said yeah, that uh, he's, he's interested, interested in the jacket. If you uh, want to message him afterwards. Okay. Yeah, Mike, I'll message you after. I'm getting I'm feedback getting again. again. Can you hear me? Yeah, let me see if I can cut my volume down some. There we go. All right. So we've got sending at 15. Doesn't look like anyone else is interested. So we can go ahead and call this for Cindy. All right. That's the earrings and necklace, right? Yep. Thank you, love. All right. Thanks, Cindy. All right. Now, the next one that we have, we do have a jade pendant. And it is on a sterling silver chain. So here's the pendant. Pretty. There's the pendant. Is the pendant yeah. set in sterling as well? I don't think so. Is it magnetic? No. But and you then just the chain is sterling as well. Now this one we're doing 20. Okay. If you look up inside that the bale, see if maybe the mark was hidden for the pendant there. Mm, I know it's not marked inside of the bell or even on the pendant itself. So I'm thinking maybe it's just uh, stainless. Um, but it does have it does have a little rhinestone diamond right there. Little CZ. All right. Barb's complimenting the jade pendant and sterling silver chain. Okay, Jill said she'll be right back. She's got to feed the family. All right, I'll give this another second. If no one is interested, then I will move on. I just resent it. My computer's telling me that I went through. Oh, okay. Talking to Selena. Oh. All right. So we will move on. The next one that we have, we do have a sterling silver pendant on a chain. Now the chain is not marked 925 and it is slightly magnetic, but the pendant is abalone shell and it is marked 925. Oh. You said that's abalone set yep. in sterling? Yep. And we're starting this at 20? Yep. And it's also on sterling chain. Well, no, I'm not. Even, I'm not going to say that the stain the stain is churling. <laughs> that chain is sterling because it's not marked and it is just slightly magnetic. Well, why don't you swap out the chain from the other one? That way, it's all sterling. I could do that. Yeah, so let's we'll do, do that. that. So, so we'll have a sterling chain and a sterling pendant, guys. Yep. 
So this one will say Sterling Chain and Sterling Pendant. $20. And hold it a little bit closer so we can see the pendant really well. A little bit closer. Okay, now I can see that it's abalone. I hate how it focuses on everything in the background. <laughs> okay. So I will. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to set this aside, and I'm still going to put that um, that sterling chain on it. Okay. All right. Next, we do have. We have a ring. Now, this ring here is size six and a quarter. And it is sterling silver. And it is a frog. Let's see if we can get that. And this one, we are doing 20. So it is a sterling silver ring size 625. And it's got like a little green uh, marble, glass marble in there with yep. little green rhinestone eyes. Yeah. Come on, focus. That one we got from the UK. That's where that one came from. We ordered that one online. Oh, the size. Yeah, we're going to need to measure the size. Uh, 6.25. 6.25. I'll type so that out. So six and a quarter. And it is a frog. And the frog even has two little emerald type eyes. Mm -hmm. That's just a little cute fun ring. Bring him a little closer. Like hold the ring thing to it on it like flat like you would if you were setting it down. There we go. Let me turn them this way. I'll put them on the tip of your finger. and There we go. We got Kathleen at 20. I wonder if it would do better on my finger. No. You're gonna have to hold it still though and let it focus. <laughs> That's like telling me like I know. I know. <laughs> it focused just for a second. She said her daughter loves frogs. That's great. That way you can give it to her for Christmas. All right. So if no one else is interested, I think Kathleen definitely wants it. Yeah, we'll go ahead and give it to Kathleen. I'm sorry, Kathleen. I promise it's beautiful. I just can't do it because my my hands. It's really are so cute. Shaky. It really is cute. It's horrible. All right. Thank you, Kathleen. Thank you, Kathleen. All right. Now we hey, do Barbara. have here something. If you do crafting, or if you have necklaces we have three jade pendants they are without chain and we are starting these at fifteen dollars not a piece fifteen dollars for all three you have this white jade dragon And I've done the scratch test on the back you can see that there is no scratches and if you want me to I'll even scratch them for you on video then you have this one here this one is a dragon and a phoenix which yeah that's one. oh there it goes yeah that's so pretty it's like rainbow colors mm -hmm. these are already drilled you can see the hole right there and the hole for this one 
button is up at the top right there. I got real and then this one great. is like a jade lock and it is wrapped by a dragon. Thank you, Cindy. Yeah, you're getting a, the video at least on, through the chat, through our hangout. Yeah, it's kind of grainy for some reason. It's starting to clear up though. That was the prettiest, yeah. Well, I don't know, I like all three of them, but it is cool that it's got the dragon so wrapped. $15 for anyone who wants these. Anyone interested for $15, you get all three pendants. Yeah. If not, then I will put chains on them and put them on my Poshmark. No, um, Barbara, it is not sterling. So three pieces of jade, five bucks a piece. All right, April, we are going to move on. Okay. All right, so the next one, we do have two other pieces of jade. We have oh, we have a gold tone lariat necklace here, and it's got the two pieces of jade. What are we starting this one at? This one we're starting at 10. Both of them for $10. And it's kind of like a, um, it's mm. like an oriental knot. So there's that one and it is a lariat. And then you have this one, which is on one of those, you pull it and tighten it. Adjustable cord. Adjustable, yeah. I wasn't sure if there was an actual fancier term for it than adjustable. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> You've got um, white jade here and here. And this one does have some green in it as well. That's pretty. It has that look of um, like that stone I sold, the moss agate almost. Looks good. $10. I'll give it another minute. All right. There we go. All right. So we're going to move on to the next one. Okay. Now, this next one, we are starting at $5. I say five because it is just silver tone links. It does have a carved dragon pendant. <clears throat> Again, starting five dollars here. Mm -hmm. And it does have ceramic beads here and a piece of coral here. And, and then it has, it has a little glass heart with a rose. Well, it's a flower. I'm not sure if that's a rose or not. I got Carmen at five. All that right. one's a really cool Thank one. You, Carmen. All right. Anybody want to go six? And the dragon, I'm not sure if I showed it. It is on both sides. Anita, that's what I thought. Um, I don't know how to test for cinnabar without having, without like scrubbing it on the. Um, and I would kind of assume just by the makeup of the necklace, it's more of a fashion piece. I I don't know. I mean, if somebody reconstructed it and maybe took that from something else, it's quite possible. But if it's original to the piece itself, 
I would think that maybe it's just imitation. Because you can see here where they drilled it, it looks like it burned it some. Mm -hmm. So that's a mystery. That'd be something. Yeah. I don't know how to test for it either. The I can tell when something it, looks um, like it. <laughs> From what I read, it's kind of like testing for jet. You have to scrub it with sandpaper. And, oh, and you might ruin it. it. So if it's cinnabar, Carmen, you're getting cinnabar for $5. <laughs> Right. <laughs> All you right. have cinnabar um, pieces. At least you know it will go well with that. Yeah. Um, you can go ahead and call it five dollars to Carmen. Okay. Thank you, Carmen. All right. Now we do have here a vintage piece. This is vintage freshwater pearls. As you can see, it is sterling silver. It is silpata. And the silpata was on one of the rings. Yeah, it was like right next to the clasp somewhere when you showed it. I doubt I can get it up close to that. What are we starting at? Um, this one we're doing 20. Okay. Yes, Sandy, it is silpata. Yep, Silpata, Sterling Silver, and Freshwater Pearls. Yep. It's really pretty. It is pretty. And it is a vintage piece, so this would, if you want to resell it, go on Etsy. You want to show the closure, maybe? Yep. On it? It's one of, it's a lobster claw. This mark 925 on that. And then the thing next to it had the little arrow mark, which I looked at it. So I know I've seen enough Silpata. So $20. Who likes um, How long? Kathleen, it is. <laughs> Kathleen says she's sweating. <laughs> You know, she's in Florida, so she's still got that good weather. Honey, I'm sweating too. That's why I'm in booty shorts. It's 15 inches doubled up, so it'd be about 30 inches. That's a nice long necklace. Well, if it, it is, it's not what I typically see either, but I, I swear to you, it is Sopata. It does have the mark on it. Yeah. If it's not sold in auction, then it's going in my Etsy store. So I would probably sell this one for about 60 to 75 on my Etsy store. That one you'll probably have to list on Posh because I think uh, so is fairly new. I think so Pot is fairly new, so you'll probably have to Posh mark that piece. I'm not sure because the ones that I've seen like this um, sell on Etsy. Hmm. Well, some people right. do with so we're going to put this aside. <laughs> All right. Now for this one, you guys, we do have four bracelets. We have one. This is natural stone. It was marked um, agate. And like April said, it looks like carnelian. So we have that one. We have a 925 bracelet here, and it's butterflies. So if you know anyone who likes butterflies. And what we're starting this at? This one we're starting at 10. Okay. Welcome, Barbie. Hey, Barbie. Then you have this Tibetan silver cuff. Which, how can I get this to show? What's the design on it? The design is um, Phoenix and Dragon. So mm -hmm. you've got a dragon right here. And I hate that it is not focusing. Okay, so Cindy said it could be vintage because they started in 1997. So you got like a couple of years before 99 that uh 
that it could go on to Etsy. So we got Kathleen at 10. Elizabeth, do you want to go 11? This we one have a bid for 10. is Mary Kay. You can see right there, the Mary Kay. And it's got little... Barbara's at 15, two little rhinestone cubic zirconia is there. And it says here, it says soar on silver wings. And I've got two uh, of those coming up, different styles though, but the Mary Kay coming up in mine. We did find those all together. And I think I was talking to somebody and they said it, it's more, more than likely that was uh, something a rep would get. So I wouldn't assume there's just tons of it out there because that's the first time I've came across it. Mm -hmm. And um, Elizabeth, gemstone of what? I think she means the bracelet there. You said you bought it and they listed it as agate. But yeah, when it was you look at it, agate, it looks like it could I be carnelian. Any, so we're not um, sure. I don't see any impurities in it, like the black specks. And like April said, the reddish hue of it looks like carnelian. So not 100% sure. Nope, I just know it's natural stone. No, it's not sterling either, right? This one, no. You said the butterfly one is. Yes, this okay. one. It's Mark 925. Yeah. And it, the um, butterflies, they reflect so pretty. Elizabeth at on, 20. On here, they have like a, a pearlescent color but I think it's catching my screen. <laughs> and yes, um, e, this is all four bracelets. Yes, the red is a stretch bracelet, Kathleen. Yes. We're at 21 for Barbara and 22 for Elizabeth. Now Elizabeth said 22. Oh, I already said that. <laughs> All right, let's see. Okay. Anyone else interested? All right, you can kind of see this bracelet from afar, the detail in it. Yeah, the, the only thing stopping you from seeing it was the glare that was on it when you were closer to the light. But yeah, it's pretty. It's really nice. See, I can wear bracelets like that because it's not closed and I can open it and put it on my wrist. <laughs> and then this bracelet, angles. it does have the, like the fish hook. Y'all, sometimes nails are a detriment. There we go. <laughs> All right. So it looks like we're going once at 26. All right. All right, sold to Elizabeth for $26. Thank you. Thank you, Elizabeth. And I've got your email. Um, you sent it to me before the auction, so I've got your information. All right, so the next one here, we do have another bracelet. This one is brand new with tax, and it is Jessica Simpson. There we go. And it is gold toned and it is one of those adjustable sliders and they're just big blinky rhinestones. Very pretty bracelet. Where are we starting at? This one we're starting at 10. Right, starting at 10. New with tags. I hear my dogs barking. They want to go pee pee. <laughs> You'll probably hear them come through here like a herd of elephants until we put them outside. <clears throat> All 
All right. Is anyone interested in the Jessica Simpson bracelet? I'm going to put them outside. Tara, you're going to go outside? All right. Okay. Okay. All right. We're so going to go ahead and move back and put them in here. Oh, Cindy goes 10. So go ahead and sell it to Cindy for, well, no, Layla went 10. All right, okay. So give it just a second then. We'll give it just another second. We got Layla at 10. Cindy, you want to go 11? Hey, Layla. It's got to be late where you're at, Layla. All right, let's see. You want to just sell it to Layla? Because I don't think Cindy. Uh... Cindy, right now it's at Layla. She came in just before you did. Yes. Oh, sorry. All right, sold to Layla then. All right. For Thank how much is it again? 10. All right. Thank you, Layla. All right, so the last three pieces, we've got um, a vintage Avon Demi Peru. And we're starting this one at 20. Okay. And it does have the matching earrings. So kind of like a seashell. You said Napier? No, this is Vintage Avon. Oh, I'm sorry. I swear every time I see that necklace, I think it's Napier. It does look like... um. It does have that style to it. Mm -hmm. That swoopy thing in the front. I see that on a lot of yeah. Napier pieces from like the 80s. <laughs> All right. Lena, you need to get a smartphone, not a stupid one. <laughs> okay, Layla, um, I'll go ahead and mark you down as well for the Silpata. Okay, cool. All right. Thank you. And that was how much? 20 on that one? 20. Yeah. Yeah, it is a very dark blue with gold tone spacer beads. And then on the, oh, the back, you see where it says Avon. Well, you probably can't see that because of the glare but it does have the Avon mark there. All right, and if no one is interested at $20, I will Mike's go ahead and move asking, on. I have two items Mike, left. Mike's asking, are they pierced or screw back? Oh, I'm sorry, Mike. Uh, they are actually pierced. Okay, those are pierced. It is a really pretty blue. It almost looks like lapis mm -hmm. color of it. I'll refresh my chat right. too. I feel like it's behind. All right. So um, Mike was the only one interested. So we will go ahead and sell it to Mike. Did he bid? Two. Yep, he bid. Okay. Thank you, sir. Right. Oh, and I'll be glad when I can cut these lights off. It is so hot up in here. Um, mm -hmm. The next one, we do have a vintage Monet. It's just a chunky white and gold tone necklace. You see the pretty white milky beads. Uh oh, Mike said so he's also interested in the Silpata, but we just sold that to Layla, Mike. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, here it does say Monet. 
on the clasp. Okay. And this one is 15. And those are just plastic balls, right? Correct. These are just balls. Just snowballs. <laughs> <laughs> the hey, Wilma Flintstone necklace, right? Isn't that what you called it? Yes, this is this is a Wilma. Mm -hmm. We gotta have some of your funny no. antics, Casey. Huh? We have to have some of your funny little antics to make us laugh. People come to us because we make them laugh. <laughs> you got to keep it going. All right. So if anybody wants this, you can have it for 15 bucks. If not, I'm going to move on and it is going to get listed. It does have a nice uh, little like chain on the back, like for the ball uh -huh. neck that I have. That's a nice, you know, like it's really little chain tiny there. and pretty. Mm hmm I could see that on a navy blue suit or something. It would look cute. Or even red. You're going for like that nautical look or something. I think that would be All fun. right. So I am putting this back into the bin and we are moving on. Now the last one, you guys, is it hurts my heart to sell it. It is the last piece in my auction tonight. And this is vintage Napier. Oh, and she's so pretty. It is a vintage Napier link necklace. And the, that one's got the earrings, right? Yes, this one is a Demi Peru. It does have the matching earrings as well. All we'll marked start. Napier. This we'll start. one, we're starting it at 25. Okay. Pretty, pretty. This is gorgeous. That's very classic beauty. I think that's what I think of when I see somebody wearing something like really nice and like business like or. I don't know how to describe it, but like just very classy. To $25 for anyone who wants it. Ooh, my neck just popped. And then here's too quiet. Earbuds. I can't be the only person talking, Casey. Huh? I said I can't be the only person talking. We got to talk. I'm we sorry. I'm trying to read I the feel like email. I feel like I'm just a bystander, and then I get really quiet, and everybody's just not hearing anything. <laughs> We're just all looking at your screen. I'm doing I'm doing so much at once. And then I all I hear is like lights. it's just me when you're talking to me, like when we're showing each other stuff all the time. Just cut up. We love it. All right. So if no one wants these, that is okay. I will probably list these for triple on Etsy. So Yeah, you should do well along with those. Going back into the bin. Well, not so much the bin. These are going on the bust. On the bust. I'm not going to mistreat this baby like that. I do that too. I pick, I pick pretty pieces to just set on the bus so I can look at it when I'm in the room. <laughs> and just so y'all can see it, what it's supposed to look like, it's pretty. Mm -hmm. I can see Cleopatra wearing that too. Right. <laughs> but too bad. You guys didn't bid on it, so too late now. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm gonna take y'all on a ship, on a on a trip in my rocket ship. There we go. All righty. So is it my son? Wedding. It's hot. You are kind of a little red in the face. All right. Let's see. It's time for me, right? Yes, ma'am. I hope it doesn't get stuck on you again. Nope. It's on you now. It is. Not on my screen yet, because of course, 
he's probably in there watching TV or doing something, and I guess my internet is slow. I'm still seeing you. Are you sure? Uh, I see you in the Hangout. Well, I'm not talking about the Hangout. I'm talking about the video. Oh, no, I still see me on the video. Um, this does it every time. I don't know why. On the Hangout, does it show a box around me? It's a box around me. And I seem to be losing feed or something on my end. There I am. I think I've popped up now. Yep. And thank you, everybody. <laughs> okay, so of course we're going to leave the jar, the jewelry jar for the end. Um, Casey, I don't think you mentioned you, whoever spent the most with you tonight, you were going to do free shipping. Yes, whoever spent the most is getting free shipping. Okay, and then I always do, um, well, I started doing, you know, a gift. So this one has a 1928 necklace in there, and it has a little Christmas tree brooch. So that's my little giveaway for whoever spends the most with me tonight. Um, I'm going to start with this men's watch. That I picked up. I actually bought it for Tyrone, but he said it was too flashy for him. So <laughs> I'm going to auction it off tonight. It's a um, Mark Echo. And I don't think oh, it's like going to need a battery. We're going to start this at $10. It will need a battery, but it has the rhinestones all the way around it. That doesn't turn or anything like that still has a sticker on the back and then I had taken it off the band but there was part of like where the price tag had been attached by the little rubber band things that they use so um I know it was new it's never worn all right so we've got Angie Ann at 10. that's a beautiful so man. watch no scratches nothing it almost looks like like it could be platinum. Yeah, it's really shiny and pretty. That's one thing I like about platinum. It's super shiny. Oh, I want some platinum. <laughs> you know, I'm still don't own any platinum. But that I um, pawned off my platinum jewelry. Yeah, All right. Now. So we've got Angie in at 10. Who's going to give us 11? Who's going to give me my pen? <laughs> and right. I'm going to put it in this box here. It's an Avon box. That's a pretty box, too. Not bad. See, nobody likes men's stuff. <laughs> and these watches. You know they can they can retail for good prices too. Mark Echo is a he's a big designer, especially in um like clothing and stuff like that and shoes. Mm hmm. Um, typically with like Urban. Yeah, yeah, I remember the Echo brand big in the nineties, and yeah. uh, but it's still around. It's All right, so it looks like we've only got Angie that is interested in it right now. Okay. okay. All right. Well, if no one else is interested, she's got an awesome watch for Christmas. All right. Last chance. I hope you make a killing on it, Angie. If you're not going to give it to your husband, I hope you make a killing when you sell it. All right. We've yeah. got sold to Angie for ten dollars. I don't like full on watches. Let's see. Put this on here. Um, that's what I need to do, a place to put stuff that's already been shown. I'm going to do my one little handbag. We're going to start this at $10. This is a Whiting and Davis mesh, gold mesh handbag. It has the uh, golden strap that I don't know if it's leather, but, it, you know, it feels like, I don't think, I don't think any part of it is leather, really. You've been finding quite a bit of Whiting and Davis. 
I did buy, I usually keep most of them. And I haven't even taken the little tag out of there, but there's no stains on the liner, I don't think. Let's see. There's one little spot there, I guess there is one there. But there it is. It does have an internal zipper pocket there and it has the whiting and davis there all right and we've got kathleen gave us a ten dollar bid mike came in at 11. anybody going to give us 12. whiting and davis is another expensive one Some of them, the older, older ones. I'm assuming this one is like 80s, probably. I have some older ones that I'm keeping for myself. I have one that I love. I took it out of my store finally. I decided if nobody was going to pay what <laughs> I was asking, it was going to stay in my collection. Yeah, we got Cindy in at 12. That's who I was thinking was interested. Me too. And <laughs> I wish I had a blanket of that material. It, it's so nice. I love touching it. Yes. All right. So we've got Cindy at 12 going once. $12 going twice. $12 going three. Oh, Mike came in at 13. <laughs> All right, you guys. 13 going once. Yeah, I love my brooch. I told Casey I'm just going to do this all night because it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> all right, it's going three times. This is your fair warning, guys. Andy, if you're going to get it, get it. Not sold to Mike for $13. Is it? Okay. Thank you, Mike. Let me put this little paper inside of it so I know that it is. Everything else I usually write on it with a permanent marker, but I can't do that with this. All right, so that takes care of those things. And I'm just going to start grabbing. I have a whole box of stuff already bagged up over here. All right, this starts at 10. This is how light. And it's a really long blue um, beaded and knotted. Really nice to layer with other things. Or you can double it up however you want to do it. Or leave it hoo-ha length. Yep, you can double it up or you can have it hoo-ha length. All right, starting bid is $10, guys. That way, y'all can see the beads. And they, they're on a blue, blue string and they're knotted. Nice, hefty. It'll go with your natural stones. Well, it is a natural stone in itself, but it'll definitely go layered with some other stones. Really pretty. All right. Anyone going to give us a $10 bid? <laughs> All right, I talk. You have to talk now. Either that, or you got to play some music in the background, like <laughs> to keep them going. Boom, 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 boom. boom. All right. I do. I do agree, Selena. That would look beautiful on mine. <laughs> I'm still waiting to see the pearls on Mike. Yeah. He hasn't. He pearls hasn't. In his pearls bag, yeah. All right, you guys. So, is anyone going to give us a ten dollar bid for this how light beaded necklace? I like the veining on it. It's pretty. Mm -hmm. it gives maybe how light gets the maybe how light gets a bad name because people use it to imitate um, turquoise, but it is a stone itself. 
and it's this one's of course dyed because it's white naturally but this is still something cool that you can layer with other things i like beads i have a thing for beads certain beads stone beads old glass beads i don't discriminate against pretty mm -mm. All right, if no one's interested, we'll move on. They're saying you're echoing. I've got a I, cut on it. I don't know what's going on lately, though. It's not me, though, because it only happens when I'm in a video with someone else. I don't know. Because I've got you cut down as far as I can cut you down and still hear you. <laughs> Does that change anything if I cut my volume down? No, I still hear it. See, I don't hear it on my end. That's weird. All right. What's next? Okay. Um, hold on one second. There. Okay. I have these bangles starting at three. They are wood and plastic. Of course, I thought they were Bakelite because they're really pretty. They really look like they could be Bakelite, but I tested them and they're not. But they do have pretty wood on one side and then these pla the different colored plastic. Ooh, those are beautiful. On the other side. I haven't even seen those. You didn't see these? No. Oh, I got them recently. It was probably the other day when me and Tyrone went shopping they look like uh like the audio symbols of the um the olympics right <laughs> they got cindy in at three uh, <laughs> anyone gonna well, give us a four <laughs> yeah lynn i tend to find the hoo-ha necklaces i don't know if i just naturally gravitate toward them just because of the name and so that i can say hoo-ha but i always end up getting them All right, you guys, we've got Cindy in at three. Who's going to give us $4 for these bangles? All right, we've got Barbara in at four. Thank you. And Adam said he might have to bid. He knows someone who likes bangles. Mm, cool. They're fun. Look at the colors. They're real fun colors. That olive green. This is like somewhere between a red and an orange. And then you have this blue, which is one of those blues that I like, kind of like Robin's egg blue. Kind of reminds me of like a sky blue, but they're so shiny too. Mm -hmm. That's, I mean, the looking at this, that's why I thought they were Bakelite. Yeah. Because it doesn't look like your standard plastic. All right. We got Cindy at five. Celine, you want to go six? But of course, you're the one that found the Bakelite and I end up with the plastic. <laughs> well, Carmen, hoo-ha is the technical term for really long necklace because it reaches. It's not your a technical term at all, guys. <laughs> it, is, it is a Southern way of saying something goes, well, you know, we call it a hoo-ha. You know, it's one of those baby kind of words that we use for it, but it's just the Cindy thing. She was calling it a hoo-ha because it would go that far down. Well, we'll have to start worrying when we say it reaches your muffin. <laughs> we got Carmen in at eight. All right, who's going to give us nine? Who's going to give us ten? It reaches the girls. <laughs> <laughs> she says it is a technical term. <laughs> I guess she's joking. All right, so we've still got Carmen holding it at eight. I'm going to go ahead and start calling it. And yeah, that's fine. Well, I've got so many more things here. Oh, we got Barbara coming in at 10. All right, $10 to one once. $10 to one wood. Once. I don't know what kind of wood. I wish I knew. But the patterns in the wood are really pretty, too, if y'all can see. The it's, grain. Like, it's like the, the grain of it. Mm -hmm. All right, sell it to Barbara for ten dollars. Right, thank you, Barbara. Now I'm gonna have indigestion, and I didn't even uh, drink coffee. Hey, 
Hey, Sherry. Mm. Here's That's a small so earring lot starting at five. I've got a bigger one coming up soon. This one, my, my whole thought process behind it was shells, pearls, and stones. So these have shells and pearls. I have these studs that have the blue lace agate. Oh, I love those. And nothing in here that I know of except for maybe these ear wires are sterling on these. And they look like they have little sodalite balls here. And then you have that glass that I always forget the name of that looks like a uh, moonstone, but it's not. <laughs> then you have these shells. They're like a brass color. And it has the uh, shell dangle. You have these little druzy studs right here. Oh, I like those. This, I don't even know. It looks like a slice of stone, but it could be just glass. But that's why I put those in there. Ooh, those are pretty. Are they red and pink? They're like a pinkish, but they've got a marbling effect and a high sheen. So uh, I don't know. And then these have like a little chip of quartz and freshwater pearls and their own gold tone wires. Those kind of look like little angels. <laughs> so that's one, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven pairs of earrings. And um, Selena, we can see you, but you're lagging. You're voting, voting, you're bidding behind people. She may need to refresh then if her bids yeah. are um, You guys, these have started at five dollars. I'm gonna refresh too, because mine seems to be pretty behind as well. <clears throat> Thank you, Barbara Johnston, for your subscription to my channel. All right. Thank you, Sandy. Anyone going $6? Oh, thank you, Faye. All right. And thank you, Lindy, for subscribing. All right. So we've got Faye at six. Anyone going seven? Sandy, you want to give us seven? <clears throat> Okay, we can start calling it because I've got so many more items. Okay. Oh, Cindy at seven, okay. okay. So seven dollars going once. Y'all gotta get them in. Seven dollars going twice. Fair warning, you guys. All right, sold to Cindy for seven dollars. Cindy loves jewelry. Okay. Thank you, Cindy. There's that. And here's a really pretty uh, bangle bracelet. It's going to start at $5. It's like the Japan metal that we've talked about before. Copper and brass inlaid. And it even has a textured, dotted textured Ooh. pattern to it. But it's a gorgeous bangle. I love that. It looks almost like snake skin. Yeah. And Barbara Johnston, um, to register to bid, you just send us your information. In the description of the video, you will see my email and April's. My auction is already over. Um, right now is April's auction. You can send your information to bougie bear vintage at outlook.com. All right. And again, the starting bid is $5. And you said it's of um, different metals. You said copper, brass, and what? Copper, brass. And it looks like the me the metal that is darkened. That's not tarnished. That's you know made to that Japan. That color. Metal, that but metal. I believe it. The whole structure would be copper because I can see right here a little bit of copper. So yeah, I think it's made out of copper. But then you've got the inlay 
of brass for the like leaves and then that's copper for that and that you can see the color difference there all right, so we've got Cindy in at $5. I don't see any other bids, so I'm gonna go ahead and start calling it $5 going once. $5 going twice. You guys, if you wanna bid, go ahead and get in. Mm. All right, sold the for five dollars. Do it. All right, thank you, Cindy. What's this? Okay, five dollars. This is a watch with natural stones on the band. It's also going to need a battery but from the stones that i know on here there's um an onyx stone there's a quartz there's a sodalite there's a tiger's eye um, i've seen it called gold stone and i've seen it called sunstone so i'm not sure snowflake obsidian and then what looks like adventurine but it's a uh, also the brand is harvey bernard i forgot to make that too so that is a vintage designer but you got your gemstones here is a gold tone and there's the closure there that's in really good shape that's a beautiful watch yeah and lots of natural stone you guys you said it's a harvey bernard harvey bernard h-a-r-v I probably am not pronouncing it correct, but H A R V E with the little hyphen and then Bernard, B E N A R D. Harve. Okay. <laughs> All right, we got Carmen in at 10. All right, who's going to give us 11? But if you're wanting to wear your stones all the time because you believe in the healing and, and you like that, this would be great. You could have that on have all of it covered all right we've got barbara in at 11 layla came in at 11 as well um carmen in at 15 winning bead right now is 15 you guys what was that noise was that your stomach growling girl no that's the people at the shop you know those rednecks with their redneck blasting trucks <laughs> I hate well, them. Okay, fans. <laughs> All right, we've got Barbara in at 16. Oh, we got Carmen in at 20. Who's going to give us 30? All right. Let's start calling well, it. It does have an, and it has one of those links here that will come off. So if you need it a little bit shorter, you can take one of the links out of it. All right, so we've got Barbara in at 21. 21 going once. So you can take 21 going twice. Carmen is out. Here's the inside. 21 going three times. Salt to Babsy Barbara. All right. Thank you, Barbara. It's a beautiful watch. And honestly, I couldn't find another one to compare it to. So it's an unusual, really pretty watch. So 21, you said? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Harvey Burn, or however you say it, Harvey, or however, is a good designer for vintage jewelry. Five dollars starting. This is an abalone bracelet and I believe copper. Yep. The setting is copper. Has one of these large, looks like a big, large vintage uh, spring, spring ring. And let me read the tag because I have forgot what it says. 
the tag on it. I'm getting that feedback again. I think it says Kari, K-A-A-R-I, Ming, N-Y-C, Designs. So Kari, Ming, Designs. I've never heard of them before. It is a beautiful. They're like beautiful. chunks of abalone, and they're held, held in kind of like bezel set, and it's copper. It has the little tag there that says the designer. Am I facing it the wrong way? No. I just can't see it because. We got Mike in at five. Anyone going to go six? Awesome. We got Cindy at six. Who's going to give a seven? I can't. I don't have access to April's email. What's up? Ziv sent you an email to be in. Oh, goodness. Okay. Let me check it real quick. I have to do it from my phone so that I don't accidentally mess something up. <laughs> and um, what was the person's name again? Ziff, Z I F. Let me check my junk mail. Nope, I'm not seeing that person. All right. Um Ziv, send it to mine. All right, so we've got Cindy and it's six steel. So I'm gonna go ahead and start calling it. Six dollars going once. Six dollars going twice. Six dollars. Oh, Mike sent it seven. So we got seven dollars going once. That's on my hand. You. Seven going twice. Um, Skywatch, Mike beat you at seven. You'll have to bid eight to beat him. All right, we got Cindy at eight now. You'll have to bid nine. All right, eight dollars going twice. Hey, Sally. Mike's in at nine. Hey, Sally. All right, I'm gonna let y'all bid for just a second. I'm gonna check this email. Okay, go ahead. I'm watching the chat and everything. I can answer questions or whatever. Abalone and copper, guys. And I haven't even looked up that designer to find out anything about it. So I really don't know. Got Cindy at 10. All right. And I don't have any new messages. Yeah. I, I'm i thinking that person might be a troll. Okay. So. Yeah. Not surprising. Okay. We got a troll. <laughs> All right, ten dollars go on once and go on twice. All right, twelve dollars go on once. Twelve go on twice. Yes, it's abalone on both sides. Twelve go on three times. All right, sell to Mike for twelve dollars. All right. Thank you, Mike. Yeah, Cindy, um, Cindy can vouch for her. Cindy, if you can vouch for her, then she can be it. Okay. Just sent it. Not a troll. Ask Cindy. Okay. Well, we haven't killed, you know, we didn't zap anybody, so that's good. <laughs> All right. And that went to Mike. For 12. Okay. All right. What's next? I don't know if anybody likes plastic bangles. This one is a designer bangle. Um, found that name on here because I almost overlooked it. 
and I was going to start it at three dollars. A M E D E O, Amidio, New York. Well, it says N Y C. And when I looked it up, it seemed like a really nice uh, boutique and, and stuff, but it's gonna be really hard to see because it's printed on the plastic there. But it and the inside of it has like a a it's sparkly. Um, I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> doing plastic bangles, but I mean, I understand some people really love it, but it's like a black with sparkly, um, kind of almost like a galaxy kind of look to it on the inside, but I know that's not picking up. And um, Ziff, your email just came in, so you're good. I got your email. I hid the message because I didn't want it in, in here. I, I'm not sure if you want everyone knowing your email. The diameter of the bracelet, Barbie is two just a little over two and a half across all right and again the starting bid for this is three dollars and i learned something interesting and i think i shared it with you april that if you Try lay in for me casey a m e d e o n y c that way they can look it up because i don't really know anything about that that place either but it must be like a, a high end little boot. A M E D E. Hold on, let me use my loop again. It's really hard to see it. A M E D E O N Y C. That's the brand or the mark. Yeah, that's the designer. The uh, um. They say if you lay the bracelet or the bangle across your first three knuckles, if it fits across the first three knuckles, then it'll fit over your hands. Okay. If I lay it across my... Not, not put your fingers through it like this, like across the knuckles. Uh, my four knuckles? Yeah, just the first three. So what about it? They say if it does that, then it'll fit your wrist. Oh, no. But look, it won't because it won't go over my thumb. That's the problem I have. Maybe I have a little bit of arthritis or something, but it, no. No, can't get it on there. Nope. <laughs> All right. So we've got Faye at three, and it doesn't look like anyone else is bidding. So $3 going points. $3 going points. It's pretty. And I mean, if you want to resell it because of, the designer, I'm sure, will definitely right. get more than three dollars for it. Oh, for three dollars. Thank you, Faye. Generally, the only plastics I'm interested in are Bakelite. <laughs> Cindy said that they make cameos. Ooh, they make cameos. I didn't see that. Oh, I think this is deja vu. This starts at five dollars. Now I don't have the earrings, I just have the necklace. Sarah Coventry. Oh, look at that. So if you didn't get the necklace earrings set, you can at least get the necklace. All right, so again, starting bid is $5. It's the exact same necklace that I had. <laughs> I told you, I told you I had that necklace. I find a lot of Sarah Coventry. And it is- And uh, um, Cindy actually bought mine. Here's the little Sarah Coventry. All right, we got Sarah, uh, so we got Sarah in at five. We got, we got Cindy at five. Yeah. <laughs> Sarah. <laughs> It's like, it's cool like mesh is, the way it's hinged mm -hmm. in all parts. All right, who's going to give a six? Personally, if I was going to wear it, I would put it on a longer chain and wear it like a hoo-ha. Me, if I had <laughs> bosoms, I would like it nestled right in between my cleavage. <laughs> That's where the big rhinestones and sparkles go. <laughs> all right, we got Sandy still in at five. 
Uh, Five dollars for one warrants. Right. Yeah. I would like a Blanche Devereaux necklace where, you know, I have a little watch nestled between my cleavage so that I can just say, by my watch, I can tell that you're right on time. <laughs> All right, so we've got Angie at six. Uh, Cherry Berry, you don't have to. Now you can go ahead if you bid, if you decide to, uh, if you find something and you bid, as long as you send us that at the end, because otherwise, if we don't get your information, there's nothing we can do. We'll just go back into our inventory. Angie's at six. Yeah. Six Did she make it points. before the wire? Yeah. Hey, Tara. Misplacing the bar. All right. So we've got sold to Angie for six dollars. Right. Thank you, Angie. This is a very unique, I said that real country, unique, <laughs> $5 uh, Monet bracelet. And you know, this is the silver tone, which seems to be less frequent. Looking at the mark, it's got the, the trademark, the registered or copyright before the Monet, just capital M-O-N-E-T. So. That's not the older mark, but um, we got something on it, something sticky, and I didn't notice it. Yeah, okay, I got that. All right, so it's like this. It's kind of hefty, like a little weighty, silver tone bracelet. I like that. I like Monet the set like that. Right there. Yeah, I was trying to figure out like how was I going to get that on. I guess. And then I was like, oh duh. <laughs> it's big enough to do that and it's so it's large it's a larger bangle because i'm one to have trouble getting a bangle on but yeah we got sandy starting us off at um five dollars who's going to give us six it's unlike any other monet piece i've found before all right we got mike in at six who's going to give us seven All right, $7, anybody? What does IG stand for? Instagram. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought we just called it Insta for short. No, the real happening people call it IG. Oh, well, I'm not happening. I can tell you that. <laughs> I'm far from happening. <laughs> it's like if you don't shut up, something's going to be happening. <laughs> well, and do something with this. Thank you, Faye. Who's going to give us eight? Fun pony thing I got going on. All right. $7 going once. Hey, Helen. All right. It's $7 going mm -hmm. three times. Oh, we got Mike in at eight. Eight going once. Going twice. Hair. Hair, hair everywhere. One three times. Hair warning. Sold to Mike for eight dollars. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. Mike's buying all the jewelry. <laughs> Let's see. Mike's still in the jewelry game from everybody. All right, what do we got here? Let me, uh, there's so much to choose from. Okay, yeah, here's another lot. This starts at $5. These are earrings, bag of earrings, $5. I'm going to show you a little bit of what's in here. So there's just these. These are like stamped metal painted yellow 
little vintage studs. Oops. They remind me to go get gas. I know, Shell Station. <laughs> um, oh, we're not promoting that, by the way. Um, these belong to my mom, and I think she either got these from Claire's, because that's these are the two places my mom bought jewelry, Claire's and Avon. <laughs> They're from one of the two. Oh, I love and that. She liked to wear these with her little Pocahontas costume because they have the feathers and the beads and the faux turquoise and wood beads and stuff. So well, I've had a lot of uh, feather of that uh, Southwestern jewelry. These have small little crystal beads and looks like little freshwater pearls and some little black beads on there. And they're hoops and they're pierced. They're gold tone. Oh, I like those. There's a pair of Liz Claiborne in here, textured gold tone. They've got the LC right there. We have these little fabulous enameled 80s earrings. Purple, they're, I know they're not picking up that color, but they're kind of somewhere between blue and purple. I like the um, the 80s enameled. These are really pretty. Silver tone, rhinestone, like cubic zirconias in there. Little hoops. They're pierced. And those lock like that. These also belong to me and my mom. And I know these came from Avon because they have the standard Avon large backs on them. And I wore the mess out of these earrings. I loved them for so long. Those are gorgeous. They're enameled and they have pretty rhinestones, Aurora Borealis and the pink rhinestones. Um, oh, that's just one. I was thinking it was tangled, but no, that's just one of the earrings. This little fun, colorful earrings, bangles. Let's see, there's this pair of chandelier earrings, and these are also Liz Claiborne. These little fashion earrings here, orange and blue and yellow. All right. These are fun. These are licensed Disney. These belong to me and my mom too. They're Tigger. Tigger earrings. I wore these. Oh, those are cute. <laughs> so I know these are from the 90s because we bought them in the 90s. And these are Liz Claiborne again. Rhinestone gold tone pierced the locking mechanism. Silver tone hoops. Thank you. These are pretty too, right here. They're in a silver tone. Oops, I just dropped one. They got a pretty rhinestone, sparkly rhinestone. And two more pair, another pair of like chandelier style earrings. It's like flipped around, there we go, I think it's right now. And bonus hair appeared, and I know it's not mine, because it's a really gray gray hair and that's not mine. <laughs> <laughs> and then those are some of those cursive C, I think that's the letter C, some of those confused me and I can't tell, but that is it so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen I think it was 16 or 17 pairs of earrings. Wow. 
17 pairs of earrings you guys that's a lot have a big old bag of earrings because i just went like i'm gonna get rid of all my earrings <laughs> that aren't the really best earrings that we're gonna be putting in our glitterati you know like nothing wrong with these by no means you know but i'm talking about like high-end costume designer pieces and we have um we have Skywatch in at 13 right now. I'm going to start calling it. What are you eating? I want something. Huh? Chocolate somewhere. I got to find my chocolate bar. Hold on. Let me see if I can mute myself for just a second. All right. We got um, sold to Skywatch for $13. Did you hear me? Can you hear me? I can now. Okay, yeah, I muted myself so I could ask our own something. Are we sold or no? Okay. Oh, yeah, we've been sold. Why do I see 14 and no sold below it? Because it was sold before it. Oh. At 13? Yep. Okay, well, you got to let me know. I told you I how to open it. I was going to mute my phone and do something. I've been sitting here telling you. <laughs> We're going to have a little bite on camera is it 13 yes and it's sold to skywatch 13 skywatch thank you yeah so i got chocolate well you're gonna eat not there she got chocolate all as well Okay, we're gonna have to. This one starts at ten. We're gonna. I don't know anything about this except for what I looked up online. This has sterling silver components, and I'm assuming that could be a real gemstone in there. Um, these are charms. It's a type of charm bracelet. Let me give you the name of it. It's called Endless Jewelry endless and this comes apart like this it's got a magnetic type closure this is a leather cord oh, and it nice. has a shamrock sterling silver charm so you have to buy these charms separately to put them on here um you got the little heart key i know kathleen likes keys um this one looks like an aquamarine in color it's really pretty and then this one says love and it's in two tone so like gold and sterling probably gold over sterling i know all the charms are marked and i looked it up and that's what they sell is sterling so okay, we got Layla i mean and you can always take them off of this if you don't like this thing because i don't understand it either and use them on a charm bracelet you know however you would use your charms on your charm bracelet or charm necklace or however but they're cool see the little heart key there and that's a, is that a bracelet or is it a choker yeah it's like a choker i don't even think it's gonna fit me yeah it doesn't fit me but it's some kind of choker charm thing just like pandora or anything else they sell these and they sell these sterling charms for you to add to it. And I found it just like this with the necklace and the charms on it. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, we've got Layla in at, we've got Layla in at 10. Um, so Layla, you're still, be, you're, you're bidding against yourself. Um, Hi, Casey. 
up. My chat's really behind, so give it just a minute. Let me try to get it caught up because this one, these charms cost more than ten dollars for you. And they're sterling. So I want to see where we're at on the bidding. Go ahead and enjoy whatever it is you're eating. I like that. <laughs> Three. And I'll talk since you're not talking. I had three things of cheese sticks. You didn't devour one in front of them and let them see what you do with your cheese stick? No, of course not. That would be obscene. Dia really wants to see it. Huh? Dia really wants to see it. Dia can PayPal mm -hmm. me $50 and I'll show her just what I do with cheese sticks. <laughs> so you got the shamrock, the heart key, the aquamarine stone, and the love charm. And here's the it says endless. Oh, we got Sandy online. Hey, Sandy. Hi, Sandy. Ooh, I got mail. I hope I got chocolate all in my mouth. I mean, I know it's in my mouth, but I mean, on my face. I feel like it is on my mouth, though, baby. Give me a napkin. Patricia, I got your package. It's so pretty. Where are we at, Casey? Well, right now we are at $14. Okay. We can start calling it. Yep. It was all in the corner of my mouth. You can't eat dark chocolate on camera. It just doesn't work like that. You'll look like you've been eating boo boo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We got Mike in at 15. Who's going to give a 16? Layla, you're going to give a 16? Oh, I thought they were done. Fifteen going twice. Fifteen going three times. Fair warning. Fair warning. Oh, it's a mic. Uh, oops, fifteen dollars, not thirteen. Fifteen. Thank you, Mike. I'm just going to call this the endless choker. <laughs> that sounds like a wrestling move. Where do these mystery bags keep? I mean, like, I don't know. I thought I got all of those out of here. All right, we're going to do the Brighton pin with stand. And we're going to start that at $10. Now, the pin is starting to run out of ink. When I bought it, I already had the pin in there. It's one of those just standard ink pens slide up inside of there so you can swap those out it's beautiful though but i have my crystal one with the clock and stuff now so that's the way it goes did we uh, already start minute. because i'm telling you my chat is so behind oh you know why are you on top chat? keeps going yes why does it do that? Because when you hit I'm refresh, I'm missing half of what people are saying. Yeah, when you hit refresh, you've got to go back and um, change it. And you guys, Carmen jumped in at twenty, so the next bid is twenty-one. It's a beautiful pen. All right, we got Skywatch at 21, Carmen at 25. Carmen says she wants this pen. <laughs> or I'm going to say it in my intercall voice, this pen. 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 Oh. I can't help it. I want chocolate. Look, you got me wanting chocolate. I want some chocolate ice cream. Mom, if you're listening, go fix me a small thing of chocolate ice cream. Carmen is in at 40. Lord have mercy. <laughs> Carmen is karate kicking all over the place. <laughs> Oh, 
I'm going to set it down for just a second so I can get a piece of paper ready for it. You better let me know if I have a bunch of chocolate in my teeth before I smile for me. Mm -mm, not right yet. <laughs> mm -mm. Well, it couldn't be worse than having cheese in your teeth and then you look like you haven't flossed in forever. I'm sure um, dark, dark chocolate between your teeth looks worse than cheese does. <laughs> we got my Skywatch at 41. We got Carmen at 45. Still has its little pads right here. And just so you know, Mom, I really don't want chocolate ice cream. I don't need ice cream. All right. I'm sorry, <laughs> Kathleen. <laughs> Who is going to give us 46? All I have handy, like, I can easily access right now. All right. Skywatch is out. I'm going to start calling it. So what, what do we have so far? 45. I did thrift this pen, babe. First, the only one I've seen, I can't remember if it was an antique store or if it was um, a thrift store. All right. We now have Mike in at 46. So we're at 46 going once. Oh, Carmen's in at 48. Mike, are you going to, you going to go 49? Oh, yeah. I want cheesecake. I want some key lime pie. Better. And he bought me Danish cookies and chocolate for snacks. <laughs> this go round. So that's what I have. All right. Mm -hmm. So cranberry juice. Mm -hmm. 48, going once, going twice. Everybody's saying they hear an echo again. This is frustrating. Because I don't know what to do about it. It doesn't seem like it happens all the time. And I don't have... A prepared headset or anything to try to try that or anything either. All right. Sell to Mike for 50. Thank you, Mike. Set that one right there. Okay. We have a bracelet. We're going to start this at $5. It's a uh, two-tone, gold tone, and silver tone, and it's unsigned. It has the safety closures on both sides, and it has these rectangular CZs, and it has like that rope kind of design, put it on here. Casey, we can't sit silently, honey. <laughs> we can't. We have to talk. I'm waiting for you We're to lie in front of people. People are not going to want to watch us just sit there. We got to find something to talk about. All right. So we've got Fan at five. All right. Who's going to give us $6? All right, Kathleen, go ahead and refresh for me, babe. Just stay behind. Kathleen is. Oh, okay. Hey, Turtle Trader. Hey, Turtle. I'm not even seeing that yet. Let me refresh again. Yep, I'm back on every time. All right. Yeah, Kathleen. Um, you're behind Faye. Um, we now have Skywatch at seven. We have Faye back 
uh, excuse me, Skywatch at six, Faye is in at seven. Night, Jill. Night, Jill. All right, Faye is still in at seven. Okay, we can start calling it because I'm just looking at the time now and we. I watch it in eight. So eight I, I have a nowhere near touched what I have. Nope, Faye's in at nine. And you said that is silver and gold tone because it looks like I see some gold. Yeah. Yeah, those little brackets here are gold tone. And then everything in between is silver tone, but these little brackets, the stations there, and it's hinged. And then it has the rhinestones every so often. It's a beautiful bracelet. It really is. It's nice. All right, you guys. The face got it right now at nine dollars going once. Nine dollars going twice. Thank you, Carly. They're just naturally going. Going three times. They were tearing my nails up at the salon, so I quit going to have them painted and well, to pay for nine dollars. Thank you, Faye. Okay, this one's gonna start at 10. These are necklaces. This is a gallon bag, so it's like a third of the way full. That looks heavy. And I think someone's getting mugged outside my house. Oh no. You will you will buy my nails? <laughs> uh oh. I gotta have them. Well, I mean, maybe, maybe when I get ready to clip them off, I'll clip them and send them to you. Blue. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. Yeah, I love the blues. And then I like the brown in it. Yeah, and I don't actually know. I mean, I'm assuming it's plastic with wooden beads, but I don't know that for sure. So that's one of the ones in there. And you have this one, which is just like a multi-layer silver tone with like little silver ball stations. Well, this one has to go because apparently it's broken. That was not in there. Um, Barbara, I'm not sure what you mean. I'm not sure what you mean, love. Am I serious? What does that mean? I have no idea. This one's in here. It picks up, it's got some greens and browns. Is that, is that stone or those plastic? Nope, these are some sort of resin or plastic or something too. Oh. There is a shamrock <laughs> and resin on an adjustable cord in there. They were, they were asking about someone getting mugged. It sounded like it. Oh. I heard someone shouting outside, and it didn't sound like good shouting. They were not making a joyful noise unto the Lord. <laughs> There's this one in here. This awesome. one is actually a glass faceted. And it's on like a leather choker style. No, I like that one. Take that stone off and put it on another. Because it's, it's a heavy little glass pendant. There's one of these sparkly gunmetal statement necklaces in there. I think I showed that one already. This one, this one looks like that one that you have that was designer. The, um, it was Lauren Ralph Lauren. 
Yeah. All right, we've got Carmen in it. That was pretty long. This one's a vintage one. It's one of those sliders. So you can wear it like this, or you can slide these like that and wear it shorter. And it's a nice thick one too. Then you have this one. This one is Daisy Fuentes. Right here. I like the round links like that. You do? I'm sure there's lots of people that do, yeah. Um, yeah, I showed that one. So that's those necklaces. So that's what I think I lost count. There's about nine necklaces. There's probably at least ten. Yeah. All right, so we're we're at about a dollar a necklace, you guys. And right now we've got Carmen at ten dollars. So I'm gonna go ahead and start calling it. You can start calling it so we can move on to some more. I gotta make sure I get the things that I pictured in the pictures because I've got a lot of other things. I didn't even show because there was too many things to show. All right. Sell to Carmen for $10. All right. Thank you, Carmen. Let's see. Cute keychain. We're going to start that at $5. I call it keychain, but you can put it on your purse whatever it's brand new still have the tags on it it's enameled and rhinestones and it's this cute little fish with her little red kissy lips and it's in a rose gold tone it does have the purse clip there it is pretty it looks like a, it uh, has like a, a cat's eye like a pink cat's eye down on top of its head and those are cat's eye too And again, a starting bid is five dollars. I like that open works on the back of it that it's not flat. Mm -hmm. It even looks like uh, <laughs> it even looks like fish scales on the back. <laughs> Thank it you. It reminds Scott. me of either was it the fish from a tuna commercial, or was it that old movie where those people were they turned into fish and it went animated. I think it was like in the 30s or 40s that maybe I'm talking about. Oh, girl, I don't know. I haven't been that old mm -hmm. in a long time. I like those vintage movies. All right, so we got Skywatch um, at five. Yeah, we can start calling it. Uh, we got Anita at six, so uh -oh. going once. It says, oh, I can't really read it. YD Jewelry. And then it has... um either Japanese or Chinese characters. So I don't know what that stands for. All right. So we're looking at sold to Anita for $6. All right. Thanks, Anita. Okay. Here's the big jumbo earring. Lot. Starting at $10 for this oh, wow. bag. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot of earrings. I had so many earrings. I had a bowl that I was digging through. So you've got some signed ones in here. Like these are like 80s Trafari. I'm probably just going to pull out one of each and just show them. So they're like a cream enameled on gold tone. And you can see the Trafari mark right there. And I think there's a couple of pairs of those type from the same time period just in different styles here's a pair of those they're pierced no i like those i know those look very art deco looking but of course they're not but they have that look to them these are very artistic like brutalist artistic looking triangles they're hammered um, they actually have a patent number on the back of them. These are pierced. 
These aren't signed. And then I like that. They're gold tone satin finish. Hey, Shantae. Let's see. We've got these little knots and they're clip bonds. I think I sold some like that that were uh, Napier, I think. Mm hmm. These were my, these are copper and they're painted copper. These again, I would call like artist artsy type earrings. Oh, yeah. I had an art teacher that she wore stuff like this all the time. That was good. That looked like something Miss Frizzle would wear. <laughs> There's a pair of chandelier, blue chandelier ones there. These are little pierced ones with faux mark sight. A purple like resin or something that looks kind of like it has the effect like it would be purple jade. I love those. These are cool. Very holographic looking dangles. There are some shell earrings in here, like that. There is these. And there's these. <laughs> there's so many of all of these. There's that one. This is like, it's cold like a stone. This is what you call a mess ton of earrings. Yes. Clip-ons, pierced. Everything's been got tangled. There we go. These are clip-ons. These are cute. These are crowns with little crystals inside of them. These have like an abalone sort of look. I don't know if that's real abalone, but it's a thin layer in set. This Night Dia. Another, another pair of 80s Trafari. Night Dia. Like a shell kind of design. It's a pinky marble blue sight, pierced. That's all like cotton candy. These are Crippon. Enameled clip on, clip on, clip on. These are cool too. I like these right here. These little, these are Monet, those little hoops there. These are cool. I like those. They kind of feel Art Deco ish too. Mm -hmm. So and we are up to most, there's a lot of them, but no, no, that's two different ones. Clip on, adjustable clip, and these are screw back. These are like old filigree looking, not signed though. Like I said, there's some signed in here, some not. These are Huggies type clip ons. These are pretty. These have roses. Oh, no, I like that one. That's pretty. These are some more brutalist looking type clip ons. They have these. These are signed something. Let me look. Well, the back, it looked like a cartouche. I don't see anything. Is that two earrings or one? I'm showing one, but everything's uh, matched up in here. There's two of everything in here. Oh, so it was uh, blue and like a gold tone one then. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was enameling. Mm -hmm. These little kitty cats in the baskets. Send um, those to, uh, to Carla's husband. Huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the, the kitty baskets. Got these. These are pretty. They have a red mark, mark, uh, marquise cut red stone in there. A clip on. These are pretty. I bought these for Haley, but she didn't uh, 
want to wear them. So they are like an art glass sort of, and they're pierced with this kind of back on them. I don't know why it's bent down like that, but they're both like that, like they were made that way. So. That's weird. I guess maybe it could be pierced. I guess you know, like to make sure thing. it doesn't slip out or something of your ear. I've never seen that before. And there's a pair of these in there. They're chandelier style. And I could keep going. There's so many more in here. This one's got little dangly crystals like this. And we're at 23. So 23 gold ones. Here's another pair. Of some of those really wild earrings. And I didn't show them all, but, you know, they're all... Really different. <laughs> um, went 24. Of the same size. Some of them. I don't know what I'm trying to say. There's another pair that were my mom's that she liked a lot. The cowboy oh, boot. From dangling. What's that charm on there? It's a cowboy boot. Okay, I thought so. That's <laughs> cute. I've just been holding on to it for so long because it was hers and I don't wear them, so... I added them to this. These are little pierced Aurora Borealis ones. All right. So we're looking at 25 sold to Skywatch. All right. Thank you, my Skywatch. 25 Sky. Watch, I gotta write it on there. Okay. All right. I've got this one starting at $10. This is a Joan Rivers. You said starting bid is five? Yeah, a uh, 10. 10, okay. Yes, because it's Joan Rivers. And it doesn't say whether it's Joan Rivers Originals or whatever, but it's a faceted. These are plastic, not glass. Faceted necklace. Oh, that's pretty. But it is adjustable. It has a gold tone adjustable thing there. And it has the Joan Rivers tag right there, if I can show it. it looks like ice. Yep. And while you're showing that, I'm going to go ahead and refresh my chat just to be sure. Oh. All right. I'm glad, Amy. I'm glad you liked your ring. Thank you. All right. So anyone going to give us? Lynn says she remembers me showing this necklace. Yeah, I recently got this one. All right. No bitch just yet. We're going to give it another couple of seconds. I'm going to refresh too and then put myself back on live chat. I don't know why it can't default to live. I know. All right. So we've got Anita. At 10, Skywatch, um, you'll have to meet Anita with 11. All right, Skywatch is in at 11. And they do graduate in size. And they do have little, do they? I was about to say, yeah, spacer beads in between. She has pretty jewelry, but I was never a fan of her. <laughs> All right, so we've got Skywatch at 11 $11, going once. Oh, yeah, Cheryl's not with us tonight. $11 going twice. $11 going three times. All right, sold to Skywatch for $11. All right, thank you. Okay. 
This big statement necklace, I was going to start it at three. It's unsigned. Gold tone. Is that starting three? I think it's vintage because of the by that clasp. Is, so I'm not certain. Oh, oh, wow. It looks like liquid metal. Yeah, it, it sets with a really cool design around the neck. This, this is what it looks like on the back. It has a texture to it on the back. Mm -hmm. It has that large clasp there. All right, we've got Kathleen starting us off with three dollars. We got Mike now in at four. Is anyone going to get us five dollars? Oh, we got six from Cindy. We got Mike in at seven. I just picture like a woman in some type of you know fancy dress sitting down at at a restaurant table and. And actually, to me, when women wear like stuff like this and they have a turtleneck on, it actually looks cool. I like it like that. All right. We got Cindy in at eight. Who's going to give us nine? Awesome. Mike. Mike gave us nine. Who's going to give us ten? Thank you, Cindy. Let's see how many people are actually still hanging in there with us. 46, that's good. We got Cindy at 10 holding it. Anyone going to go 11? <laughs> turtle, 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 neck. Yep, turtle, neck. Well, happy birthday to your grandmother, 84. That's awesome. All right, so we're looking at sold to Cindy for 10. All right, thank you, Cindy. I maybe held it up. That way you can see it. I have a JJ brooch starting at five. It's pewter. It's a golf bag with the little golf essentials dangling from it. I'll close it up so I don't poke myself. So you got the golf ball, the tee, the flag, the shoe, the visor. Oh, that's cute. Oh, and you said that is JJ? That is Mark JJ. Right there. All right. Again, starting bid is five dollars, you guys. Somebody was asking earlier about brooches. They weren't sure if they missed the brooches or not, but this is the first one that we've put up. This might be the only one that I did besides what comes in the jar and the jewelry jar. I love the brooches and I, I, I know keep you're normally the brooches. So. All right, so we got Mike in at five. Anyone going to give us six? All right, we can start calling it. Okay. Because I got some more. Nice. nice. I think it was Sherry Bear. One of those things that I don't find the ones that are really nice all the time so i don't end up having as much to get rid of when it comes to the brooches i get lots of necklaces and as you can tell lots of earrings um, all right so turtle came in at six okay so we're now at six going twice going three times All right, sold the Turtle Trader for six dollars. Thank you, Turtle. All right, 
make sure to email us because I know we haven't um, haven't shipped to you before. Let's see, I've got a bunch of uh, bracelets and necklaces and stuff left. Let's do these. I thought these were cute. Cindy might like them. Three dollars. These are pierced, enameled, and they do have rhinestones. Little frog earrings. But that's right. She likes silver tone, so she probably won't like these because they're not silver tone. But they're pierced. They have the little lever backs. Oh no! I just dropped them. All right, we got Kathleen starting us off at three. I want to make sure none of his rhinestones are loose. No, he's okay. He made it. <laughs> he laid it on his feet. But yeah, they All got right, rhinestone got accents Whoa. there, and he has little red rhinestone eyes. Um, Kathleen. I, I'm not sure if April has any rings. I normally have some rings, but I only have one ring this auction. I don't think I did any this time because I did so many last time that I really don't have that many left. And the ones I do are like expensive Native American, mostly. All right, so we've got $5 going once. Send you some chocolate to the computer. <laughs> oh. We're at five dollars going twice. Five dollars going three times. And it looks like it's sold to Kathleen for five. Thank you, Kathleen. Okay. Ooh, Christmas. That's right. I forgot about my sterling and stuff is down here. It must have ended up on the bottom. Um, this isn't sterling, though, but we're starting this at five. These are Christmas earrings. Again, these belong to my mom. These are little jingle bells with enameled bows these i believe for sure are probably from avon and i think yeah i think they're signed on here yep they're signed avon so these are avons those are beautiful these are also jingle? avon now, i know this isn't christmas but it was like the only i think halloween thing i had left so i'll put them in there because they're a holiday and they're signed avon on the back Um, these look like little reefs, so I put those in there with the red rhinestones. Oh, I like that one. These are like uh, little penguins skiing on candy canes or sledding on candy canes, rather. We got Skywatch starting us off at five. Then we have a pair of these little red because I thought those worked with Christmas. And gold tone. And that's it. It's so it's like a one, two, three, four, five pairs of earrings. But I do have some, I'm gonna do those next. Keep up with the Christmas stuff because I wanted to sell the Christmas stuff for sure. Um is sterling silver Christmas tree uh, pendant. And um, earrings. All right, so we've got Skywatch at seven. And I'm about to start calling it. All right, Cindy's out. And sold the Skywatch for seven dollars. All right, thank you.
All right, so these are going to start at 10 for the pendant. This one is hollow, so it's big, but it's hollow, so it's not that heavy. But it does have a nice large bail. Where's it marked at? Mm. Right there on the bail. No, they're not going to be able to see how tiny that is, but it's marked right there. But yeah, that's sterling silver. So that's starting at 10. That's cute. If it goes over 20, I will uh, put a chain on it. I'll put a sterling chain on it. All right, Carmen's starting us out at 10. And again, if it goes over 20, she will put a sterling silver chain on it. And I don't know why, but it looks like the tree is like, I guess like instead of it being a trunk, that's like the chimney. So the tree is going down into the chimney, I guess. I'm not sure. But that's how it looks. It's a fairly large size. Give my thumb. All right. Looks like Carmen is the only one bidding. Okay. That's fine. We can call it. All right. Go ahead and say, sell to Carmen for 10. Thank you, Carmen. Okay, the next Christmas tree pendant, Sterling, is like a stamp piece you know it's um it's thin i guess not like too thin but uh it is marked on the bail i believe on the inside of the bail that's where that one was anyway right there you get ten dollars for this one as well yep and i'd do the same for this one if it goes over 20 then i'll put it on a sterling oh, silver thing. It's tarnished on the back. <laughs> All right. So we've got Cindy in at 10. Thank you, Cindy. All right. Anyone going 11? And again, if this goes over $20, she will put a sterling silver chain on it for you. It is a cute pendant. It is. I probably wouldn't wear the other one because it's just a little big for my taste, but this one right. I would probably wear. Hey, Angie. All right. Is anyone going to give us 11? If not, I'm going to start calling it. Yeah, let's go ahead. Cindy, $10. Yep. Okay. Thank you, Cindy. She was kind of the one asking about the Christmas jewelry anyway. That's the whole reason why I went looking for it. Okay, so these are sterling too. They have little red and green enamel uh, dots on them. And they're signed on the back for the sterling. They're rather small. They're not big. $10 are, as well? No, $5. $5. And their ear wires. <laughs> Cute, making the steps swing. All right, we got Cindy in at five. All right, Skywatch, Cindy Beach at five. There we go, because the light is really glaring on them. It's because they're so shiny. They are super polished and shiny. But it actually shows up better on the YouTube video than it does in the Hangout. 
And these earrings actually match the other pendant. So the next pair matches that big, larger pendant. Right, we got Angie in at six. Angie asked, are those rhinestones? No, nope, they're enameled little dots in green and red, like Christmas ball dots. Mm -hmm. And I do have little stars on top of the trees. Hi, Ziff. Squirrely trees. Right, I'm going six dollars long once. Mm -hmm. Green and red, Angie. I need to grab some of All right. Sold to Angie for $6. Thank you, Angie. Okay. And like I said, this pair match exactly with the other ones, and they're marked 925. Hi, Lynn. I'm assuming that would be where the pendant came from, too. They look just like that big puffy heart pendant. And, and these, these are starting at five. Mm -hmm. And that's where they're marked on the back. Sorry, y'all. Not six. <laughs> it's not focusing, but 925 Thailand. So they're Thailand Christmas trees. Mm-hmm. And now look at my nails. Look at my nails, Sharpie Barker. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I'd get it all over me. I always do. All right, you guys. Oh, we've got Cindy in at five. Thank you, Cindy. Who's gonna give us six? Carmen's got the pendant, doesn't she? Yep, Carmen's got the pendant. I guess I should have put that that set together since they were matching. I don't know. No, Kathleen, I haven't had cheese sticks in over 30 minutes. We've got <laughs> Sky Watching at six. So that's not chocolate on my nails. That's Sharpie marker, y'all. All right. So we've got six dollars going once. Dollars going twice. They're going three times and six dollars. Hold the Skywatch for six dollars. Thank you. All right, let's see. This? Oh, this one's cute. This is going to start at five. This is enameled and it does have a rhinestone eye. It's gold tone. I'm looking to see if I see any marks on it, but I don't. And it's a hummingbird necklace. There we go. It's pretty. All right, we got Cindy in at five. And this is the chain it came on. I didn't have to put it on when it was on that one. There's the back of it if you want to see the back, but there's no signature. But it does look like that Monet um, brooch that I found. Uh huh. That was a hummingbird. Didn't you sell that to Cindy? I don't know if Cindy got it or Angie or I can't remember. That's been a been a little ways back. I think Cindy bought it. All right, we've got Cindy at five, so it looks like Cindy may be getting this one too. <laughs> All right, five dollars going once. Five dollars going twice. Five dollars going three times. Sold to Cindy. Thank you, Cindy. 
Let's do, I have a copper uh, Mary Kay bracelet. This one says, make me feel important. And it's got the rhinestones right here. One round, one square. And then the signature for the Mary Kay is on the inside there. Oh, did I say three dollars? That's I didn't out how much? Three dollars. Okay. I didn't say, I guess. Nope. The cuff. It looks like is that a square and a circle? Yeah, it's a square rhinestone there and a circle there. All right, we got Kathleen at three, Faye at four. And Cindy done called Faye out, so apparently Faye likes copper. Yeah. Yeah, I think she was telling me that Faye was the one that had said she liked copper because we were trying to figure out who it was that likes copper. Besides your mom, I know she said she liked copper too. People around here like copper. You got to hide your copper. They'll mm -hmm. even take it out of your air conditioning units. Oh, yeah. Though, knock on wood, that hasn't been a problem as of late. Make me feel important. That's what it says. Now, um, Shante wants to know, is it copper or copper toned? Um, I believe it to be copper. Copper's not magnetic, right? Or is it? Well, you should be able to, like, rub it really hard and it should smell like a penny. Right. Yeah, it's, it has that smell and it's not magnetic either. So I don't think copper's magnetic. I don't know. I don't have a penny to test it with. Cindy, was it that you telling me with the Mary Kay that these are um, something that like they would give a rep? Like as a they earned it for something because I don't ever see Mary Kay jewelry. So I would think they're, you know, few and far between. Penny like penny. penny. <laughs> Excuse me. Let me put on my professional voice. I don't have any pennies. <laughs> All right. Sold to, I believe it was Faye. Yep. Faye. For four dollars. Thank you, Faye. Let's see what else I have. This one too is copper and brass. It's five dollars. It's unique and hand handmade, like the jewelry that Sandy makes, kind of style, and it's been embossed along the uh, cuff part. It does have some type of signature, which looks like a star right here with some kind of uh, thing in it, but I don't know. But the this part's what's really cool. And so then you got the copper that goes around the edge. I think this is kind of old, but I, I don't know. Yeah, it's even like etched on this side too, or embossed on that side as well. But that it's mainly brass with just a detail of copper around the edge of that. Two, three, four, five. What's right. six sided? We have Kathleen starting us out at five. Who's going to give a six? What what shape is six sided? It's not an octagon, so it's a what? If it's a hexagon. Hect. Okay. Thank you, Angie. All right, so who's going to give a seven? I think the reason why I never tried to list this one, because I just didn't know anything about it other than what I said, that it looks handmade. It is cool, though. 
All right, so we've got Angie at eight. First lip. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and start calling it. Yeah. Eight dollars gone once. Eight dollars gone twice. Eight dollars gone three times and sold to Angie. Yes. Sold to Angie for eight dollars. Yep. Thank you, Angie. Okay, I've got this large statement necklace starting at $5. It's unsigned. More of a Poshmark modern piece. Nice and heavy, though. It's not a light piece. And it's really pretty. And these are like a dark, medium to dark kind of gray color. Uh oh, eBay's telling me I've got to watch something that I was looking at. They look like little men. Little men? Like I get more like an icicle type effect. But I see the head and the arms and the body. <laughs> yeah, I see that. It is adjustable. All right, so we've got Carmen in at five. Misha, you need to go at least six. Awesome, thank you, Misha. Who's gonna give us seven? Right, seven dollars, anyone? That is really pretty. <laughs> Robot necklace, Angie said. That little TV head man. Mm -hmm. It really shines. It really does sparkle. And there's the back of it. We got Carmen at 10. Thank you, Carmen. It's made well like a J. Crew or something type piece would be. Like I would have thought that's what it would be. But you know, sometimes these necklaces lose their little tag to tell you who makes it. I could wear I could I could wear something like this. I have never tried to though. Honestly. It matches with my brooch. It does. Because they have like gray stones and stuff. <laughs> Belinda said she didn't see what you got, so you'll have to show it, Angie. Okay, so where are we at? Call it. Right now we are at $10 for Carmen. Okay. And no one else has bid. I'm going to go ahead and uh, go through the Thank steps. You, Selena. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm showing my bra strap. Oh, my goodness. That's not good. Why is it 10? Three times at 10. And sold to Carmen. All right. I shouldn't have worn that bra. That's the whole problem. I tried to get away with a sports bra and it's not working. Ten dollars, Carmen. Yep. Thank you, Carmen. Okay, I have this pair. We're gonna start this at five dollars. They're unsigned, but they're big statement. X's and they have a textured and matte finish. You said ten dollars. They're like large. No, five dollars. Five. And just like that, I almost put down ten. Oh, Casey's Lord. like, oh, I'm sleepy. Nap time. <laughs> but they have the pads already on there, but you can take those off. They just slide on or off comfort pads but yeah they're big huge runway earrings or whatever they call them all right 
Again, people, five dollars starting bid. Barb said bra pants. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't feel like wearing the other one. Barb, I read that as brain pans. I'm like, I don't know what a brain pan is, but I definitely don't want one. All right, no one has bid on these yet. Okay, we'll move on. We'll just move on past those. I'll put them in the didn't sell chair over there. These are pretty. Angie, these would look nice with that bracelet. They're um, copper, brass, and like a silver tone color. And these are going to start at $3. They're pretty. They're really pretty. And they're pierced. That's what the back looks like. Did you say these are um, sterling? Did you say they're silver toned? They're not sterling, no. They are silver tone, copper colored, and brass colored. I don't know the metal. And $3 starting bids. Anyone going to give us a $3? Uh, there we go, Faith. Thank you. All right. Anyone going for? I can feel the energy is low tonight. It's very uh, low. I said, I can feel that the energy is very low tonight. Some nights when we get on here, we're all having fun. We're laughing. We're making jokes. We're cutting up. And night just seems like everybody wishes they were in bed. <laughs> Dia says sleepy. Oh, I thought right. Dia was gone. I thought she said good night already. She did. But like Mike, she comes back. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, I wouldn't have thought that Dia would be uh, asleep anyway because she she's usually up a little bit later anyway. And she says she can't sleep. All right, so Faye is the only one that bid. You want to go ahead and sell them to Faye? Sure. Sell it to Faye for three dollars. Thank you, Faye. Um, this one's kind of cool. We're going to start that at five. This one has some really sparkly beads. It's handcrafted to me. And I don't know if that toggle sterling, but it is tarnished. So it may be, but then again, it could be uh, silver plated. Let me check it with a magnet and see what it does. It's not magnetic, so that might be a sterling closure on it it has these pretty crystal beads and then these are like set with wire so you can see the back of it it's made with wire but you've got this and these are glass these are all glass except for the rose that may be some kind of carved resin or something let me put it on the necklace bust that's really pretty looks like that and then this one dingle dangles Mm, that's very pretty. It was sparkling in the case, so I had to take it home with me. <laughs> if it sparkles, I pick it up. All right. You guys, the starting bid for this was $5. I didn't, Sandy's on another person's channel tonight. I didn't know that. Who? Sandy is doing a show on another channel tonight, which I don't know whose channel. So she's going to go support her on there, she said. Oh, I don't know. We got Cindy at six. All right. Who's going to give a seven? Wade's Venture. That sounds familiar, but I... I... Um, I've heard of him, but I didn't know he did a show this late in the evening. 
All right. We only do this every other week, so. Six dollars going twice. Six dollars going three times. Sold to Cindy. Thank you, Cindy. Oh, you know what? Since there's other things going on, I'll just do the jar and then we'll we'll be done. Girl, how many more items you got? Enough for next time if I wanted to. <sighs> I can't keep the energy going tonight. I just can't do it by myself. Here is the jar. We're going to start this at $25. $25 starting bid jewelry jar, and it is packed. Yep, we have some Avon pieces. Um, I know some other designers are in there, and I've totally forgot. I think JJ, because I think that one's JJ. If not, it's American Jewelry, AJC. Then you have these stone and copper clip-on earrings there. There's a statement necklace up here that has some Howlite beads on it. That's an Avon piece there. The brooch, it's really pretty. Those earrings. Seems like this is what they were waiting on. Yeah, that's why you would save the best for last, so they'll hang out with you, but nobody, nobody's excited tonight. Right. We got so Skywatch at 37. Who's going to give us 40? Rolling picture, sure you're not going to let it go this cheap. All right, we got Cindy at 40. And I'm not sure if Mike is still online with us. And Barbara, all of the sterling was um was earlier. She I have one. some more, Barbara. If you're looking for some pieces, I'll show a couple more pieces. I may not have shown everything. I'm sorry, guys. I feed off of other people's energy. Sometimes, like, if it's like that, when it has, it kind of made me feel like everybody just didn't want to be here. So, I don't want to keep anybody. Um, you, you, uh, what do they call it? Curated this one, didn't you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I curate these. And I, I do put things in there and make it well worth your trouble. I know Barbara, she got the last one. Have you opened it yet, Barbara? Tell them your opinion of the jar you got last week. I don't mind the honest truth. Because from my opinion, I think I do well with them. But it might not be true from other people's point of view. So you let us know. Well, apparently you do really well with jars because how many did you sell? Almost 30 in my Etsy shop. Oh, and those are... Freshwater pearls with a sterling closure. All right, we are up to 55. I have it opened it. She said um, she hasn't opened it. She's going to wait and do it live. Oh, well, what do you think by what you can see? <laughs> I promise you, if this is what I bought for $40 at Goodwill, I would not have a complaint in the world. Right. But most of what I get is broken junk. You're getting the good stuff that's not broken, has matching earrings. It's not what? It's definitely sterling. I said has matching earrings, definitely has sterling. It's what you want when you get a jar. 
No, girl, you cut out when you were talking. It sounded like you said, what I got is not effing junk. And I was like, oh, gosh, you went there. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't. No, I didn't say that. No, it cut out. I, right when you was not junk. I, don't I wouldn't do to anyone something I wouldn't want done to myself. So if I knew I was going to spend $50 to $100, because I know Mike bought Cindy's last week for $100, it's worth it. It's definitely worth it. All right, we got Carmen at 75. That's how we make our money. We take these pieces bit by bit and sell them off. And I generally, unless it just hasn't sold, I generally don't list any of my vintage pieces for um, under $25. The only reason it'll go 15 or 10 in my store is because it's sat there so long. And it's not a major piece or anything like that. And there's tons. There's tons of. All right, I crammed it as full as I could get it. I got Skywatch in at 76. There is some Santa earrings in there. That's Mother of Pearl, along with the pearls. That's two separate necklaces. And I sold one like that, I think, to a lady. I don't think it was heart shaped, it was disc shaped like that on my Etsy store for $45. All right, we got Carmen at 80. It That's is, a it is a pretty drawer, Dia. Those are earrings. And it almost looks like you have it sorted by color in there. <laughs> <laughs> That's a rose. That's that one. It's it's a rose. I, I can't remember if it had a name on it or not, but it's actually scented. So I guess you can actually like spray it with something. It feels kind of like wax, but it's cute. And it has the rose smell to it still, like a light rose smell. Well, and there's a Napier um, arm necklace in there, and that's a spoon ring. There. If, it, if it has a scent to it, it could be one of those necklaces that are meant for you to put your essential oils on. No, this is a vintage brooch. That rose It's a vintage brooch. So, you know, like the stem and stuff's gold tone, like metal. But that part that makes the flower, must they, they're, I don't know. I mean, I remember I that one. You could I smell them or something up. back in the day. You're supposed to, I don't know how they work. <laughs> it had like that powdery smell. Yeah, it has a powdery rose smell. Yeah, I remember that one now. All right, and we are up to 80 in favor of Carmen. All right. Um, Barbara said that she don't know if it's just her, but this time of the year is extremely overwhelming. So that when we have an auction, she actually finds it calming. Oh, good. That's good to hear, Barbara. All right. You want me to start calling it? Where are we at? Eighty dollars. Yeah, we can start calling it. All right, you guys, we are at eighty dollars. Go on once. I actually put that necklace I bought from you that I think has carnelian on it. I put that in here too. There's All a right. ring. There's a couple of rings in here too. All right, you guys, we are at eighty going twice. And you'll have this little, I think that one's actually a Boyd's Bear brooch right there. Where she's got like a little pie or something. It's like a little heart shaped pie in her hand. All right, we got Skywatch at 82. All right, who's going to give us 83? Let me find, while they're doing that, let me uh, find the sterling pieces that I have left out of here. Because they got really mixed in. 
I have a ton of bags, but I have everything bagged up individually that I was willing to put into the auction. We got Carmen at 85. Oh, there it is. That. This one's really pretty too. That for later. Those are sterling. I was with sterling and amber. Little, oh, I have this sterling bracelet. Remember the one you had to look up what that meant for me? Uh huh. The um, I think it was the Eucharist. Uh, Eucharist. Uh, Eucharistio. Eucharistio. Eucharistio or something. Is that is that in like Italian or something? I would say either Italian or Latin. Oh, yeah. Oh, and these I got to do because these are these are Christmas. And they're sterling. Hey, Patsy Craftsy. Hey, Patsy Craftsy. Did you see earlier that um, I got your package in? I got to talk to you. Y'all have to go check out her channel. She is craftsy for sure. She makes the, the crazy um, ugly Christmas sweaters and stuff. And uh, they're really cool. I want to get one. I think I'm following you, Patricia. Nope. I'm is now. So we're at 85 for Carmen. Yep. Okay. Mm -mm. It's um I had these Richelieu coupons too, but I can save some of this for next time for sure because I got lots. It's Eucharistio, and it actually says that it's Greek. No, it's Greek. Okay. But it means to be grateful and to feel thankful. Mm hmm That's what you looked up for me. And yeah. that's a steel pot of bracelet there that was sterling I have. Okay, so we'll do the sterling too, I guess. For anybody else that wants to hang in there for that. 80, we're at 86 now. 86 going once. Six. Oh, Carmen's in at 87. Skywatch, you want to go in at 88? There you go. Well, All right. Back up. <laughs> How about you, Carmen? Oh, Carmen went in at 90. All right. Skywatch, you're going to go in at 91. Thank you. All right, Carmen. Well, there's no problem. Carmen's in at 95. I did want to offer everybody as many things as I can because I know it is Christmas time and we're buying gifts for everybody. I've bought gifts from other people's auctions for some of my family. <laughs> All right, so Sky watches out. So 95 going once. Ninety five going twice. Ninety five going three times. All right, Carmen. Sold to Carmen for 95. All right. Thank you, Carmen. 95. All right. So we got starting at $5. <laughs> That's the stress. And these are sterling. Let me read the marking on them.
their mark thailand sterling they say 925 they don't say sterling they say 925 and they are christmas bales and again starting bid is five dollars mm -hmm. Uh oh! Don't remind you of Christmas presents, E. <laughs> Tyrone looks tired too. <laughs> All right, so Skywatch is winning the bid at seven dollars. I want to say hi hey to everybody. Nobody gets to see my other half. He acts shy. That's Tyrone. Hey everybody. Hey Tyrone. Hey Casey. Hey Casey, do Mm-hmm. You want to come model my jewelry? No, I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> We've got... Oh, your birthday. Barbara. My son's birthday is right after Christmas. Skywatch wants to see the backs. Oh, yeah. They're just like stamped like silver. And that's the marking right there in the middle. Are they so, just fish hooks? Yeah. Yes. And they're marked there too. You can kind of see it picking up on it. Nine two five. Selena said hey, and Faye said hey, and Tiki Shante said hey. All right, we got Barbara at twelve. That I missed it as it was scrolling by. Jingle, jingle, jingle. Where'd the bag go? Again. I mean, I've heard of silver bells, but I've never heard of sterling silver bells. <laughs> I don't think Michael Buble sings about that. I don't think so either. <laughs> but he does sing nicely. Oh, thank you, Patricia. And Lynn said hi. And Kathleen said hi. And Belinda said hi. <laughs> Amy says, hey. Any more chocolate, take it away, take it away. <laughs> okay, we can call it. Because I got a few pieces of silver over here. Mike said, hi. And it sold to Barbara for $12. And Amy said, hey. <laughs> and who to who? Uh, who? Barbara, Babsy. How much? Oh. I really, I don't know what to do about my chat. I'm so behind. I'm looking, looking, looking. In. I'm nowhere near. All I see, the last thing I see is going once. <laughs> That's how slow it is. Okay, starting at $10. This is a handcrafted piece. Now, I don't see the markings, but it's definitely silver and it's definitely not magnetic. And uh, it's a brooch, it's a duck. So, if you like ducks, somebody like hand did all the, the detail mm -hmm. on that. And here's the back of it. Those Etsy. All right, again, starting bid is ten dollars, you guys. This will probably be our last auction before Christmas, won't it? Because I don't want to. If it falls like right close to Christmas, I can't do it because I'll be wrapping too many presents and doing too many things. And there is a lot of detail on that dog. Mm -hmm. Nobody's interested. I can move to the next thing. Nope. Tiki Shante went 10. You want to go ahead and just sell it to her? Yeah, she can have it for 10. All right, Shante, you got it for $10. Thank you, Tiki. Yeah. Sorry, Amy. Uh oh, did she come in after? Yeah.
about kill myself over here. <laughs> Dropping stuff everywhere. Here's a Silpata. We're going to start it at $10. It's a Silpata charm bracelet. Now, these charms you have to buy separately. So, you know, they cost per charm, but you've got the blue, the pink, and the white stone. Then you also have this one that has the little boy with the basketball yeah. right yep ten dollars all-star boy is what it says and yep so that's one two three four charms and then you have the little silpata hang tag there and that's the bracelet All right, we got Mike in at 12. You can take, if you're reselling it, you can actually take the charm. They actually have like the little lobster claw. These are easy to get on and off. You can sell them separately and then the bracelet by itself. And nothing saying that if you have a sterling silver charm bracelet that, you know, you can't just use them on any sterling silver. It doesn't have to be a Silpata one, but this one happens to be all Silpata. All right. We got Barbara in at 16. Y'all see my new ring I got? New ring. So pretty. Missing two of the marker sites. I've got to replace those, but I love it. All right, so Vanessa's in at 18. Y'all, I hate how that looks, but it's just marker, I promise. I'm writing on those bags. At least it ain't doo-doo. Oh, no. Mm -mm. All right, no. Barbara's out. Talk to you like I do my dog. No, no. I'm gonna start calling it. Dollars going once. Eighteen dollars going twice. Eighteen going three times. All right, it's sold to Vanessa for eighteen. All right, thank you, Vanessa. Okay, here's that. Here, I definitely start this one. This one starts at $20. This is the sterling silver chain. It's a nice chain. And then you have this beautiful horse and horseshoe. Very heavy pendant, and it's marked... Um, Mexico, and then it has the uh, sterling mark on it as well, right here on the bottom. 925 is here, and then that's Mexico there. So this was made in Mexico. And I'll put it on the okay, and starting bid is $20. And you know, anybody that likes equestrian jewelry or rides horses or you know, the horseshoe for good luck, maybe. All right, we got Barb at 20. It looks like it's going to be the Battle of the Bees. We got Barb and Barbara at 20. Now Belinda at 20. It's a really nice pendant. Really nice. All right, we got Belinda at 25. That was the one that somebody had made it onto like this necklace. And that's why Goodwill didn't spot that being sterling is because of the necklace that it was on. It needed to be on the chain. All right, Babsy goes 230. <laughs>
Well, I hope you feel better soon, Vanessa. All right, Babs is at 30. I'm going to try refreshing again to get myself back where I'm supposed to be. I can see everything. I've I, don't, I think this is the worst delay I've ever had. All right. Barbara is still holding it at 30. 30 dollars going once now we got belinda at 35. now go ahead and get your business in guys and we'll move on to some other pieces real quick because i know casey wants to go i'm so tired <laughs> all right so barbara's out okay got 35 in favor of belinda going once on twice now. On three times and sold to Belinda. All right, thank you, Belinda. For 35. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Here's the one we were talking about. This starts at $5, and it does have a freshwater pearl dangling from it. You said five? Mm-hmm. That's the one that said Eucreestio, or Eucreestio, or it does have a freshwater pearl hanging from there, but it's, it's like that. Eucreestio. Eucreestio. And again, that means um, to give thanks or be thankful. Mm -hmm. Five dollars. Sterling and freshwater pearl. All right. All right, we All got right. Mary P at five. Oh. All right, we got Mike at six. Mary P at seven. Vanessa, it'll be it'll be based on weight. Kathleen at eight. Yes, it's based off of your weight of uh, everything that you buy. Mary at nine. I'll always put it in a flat rate if it'll all fit into a flat rate because it's heavy. I'm going to do whatever's in your best interest. If it's under a pound, then it's cheaper to send it in a package or a box based off weight. If not, then I'm going to stick it into the next biggest box flat rate. That it'll go into. Hey, Carla. All right. Oh, hey, Carla. No problem. Thanks for joining us. Barbara, uh, Mary had it at nine. She accidentally typed 99 and had to retract it. So, um, do you want to go 10? All right, so we've got Barbara at 10. Mary, do you want to go 11? All right, so Mary's out. I'm going to go ahead and call it. Okay. I'll let's go on once. So 10 for Barbara. What yep. did you say? Thank you, Barbara. All right, so I have some other sterling bracelets. One of them start at $5. It says love. There's the closure. 
and there's a little tag there. It has L O V E love. Let me get it flipped the right way. L O V E love. Yes, Vanessa, if you look below the video here in the description box, if you're on your phone, you know you have to click that little arrow for the information to pop up. But if you look down below, my email is there. If you bought from Casey, you email him as well, and he'll give you your total from him, and I'll give you your total from me. All right, we got Barb at five. Okay. Anyone go on six? If nobody else comes in, we're just going to say five to Barb. Give it a couple seconds. Yep. So to that, uh, so to Barb. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Barb. All right, this one is for like to make your own charm bracelet. It's also five dollars. Well, no, I take that back. It has a cross. You mean you can, of course, but it already has one charm. It has a cross, sterling silver, and it has a cross. Um, Barb says send that to Carla. Okay. Oh, yeah, y'all uh, email us that information so we don't forget. Because <laughs> it gets a little bit confusing because the one the last time I had so many people gifting, not that I mind, it's just it gets confusing when it's just in the chat. Somebody typed it out. If you'll send it to us when you send your email then we'll definitely have somewhere to go back and check without having to rewind and fast forward the video, <laughs> which we did last time. All right, we've got Barbara at 10. And this one is like, oh, I needed to make mention of that. This is like a child's bracelet. This is small. I didn't say that. So, um, yeah, it's small. Let me measure it for you. I'm looking at it like, okay, you know, like a little five-year-old, something like that probably could, could wear it. And I should have said that before, and I didn't. The love bracelet was bigger, but this one is small. It is measured from the wrong side. It's only a little over six inches. All right, we've got Barbara holding it at 10. But this would be cute for somebody's granddaughter. Or cute to put on whatever you want to put it on, I guess. If you have dolls, some people decorate their dolls like I do my teddy bears. Yeah. All right, we've got Sandy rooting at 11. Well, congratulations, Carla. You have a gift coming. Okay. We. Night, Sandy. Okay, it's okay, Sandy. This was just for whoever wanted the sterling that I hadn't gotten to. All right, so we're at Cindy, $11, Cindy Rootin. Yeah. Okay, sold to Cindy Rootin. Mm -hmm. This is the last piece I'm going to do this time. This will be the end of it. This, these are, they have a uh, sterling silver ear wires, and I'm guessing 
the rest of it that's holding on holding it on there would be two three dollars and I don't know if this is real amber or if it's faux but they're they're little amber looking beads and they are sterling ear wires nothing's magnetic on here so I'm assuming all the components are sterling all right starting bid is three dollars all right we got Barb Brand at three you're welcome Cindy All right, Skywatch, Barbara's got you beat. Okay, there you go. We got Skywatch in at four. Nightmare. You're welcome, Mary. Good night. All right, Barbara in at five. All right, so we still got Barbara at five, or once at five. Yep, we can call it that way. Once at five. Yep. Everybody got to get in quick. We at five. All right, so to Barbara for five. All right, thank you, Barbara. You want to check the calendar real quick and see what our next date would be for um, auction. Seventeenth. So we can do the. Well, no, that's really seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Mm -mm, because yeah. the very next week is Christmas. Yeah. So what do you think? Do you want to try to do one, or you don't? I wouldn't. Okay. So yeah, guys, we're gonna take that week off before Christmas with the auctions. We might come in before then um, with a little pop-ups or something. We can do that, can't we, Casey? Sure. Yeah, just you know, like he might do one, I might do one with maybe like ten items or something in it, just to uh, give y'all you know, another opportunity before Christmas. I'll add anything. Always feel free to email us if you're looking for a particular type of item that we might have you know don't be afraid to email us we'll get to the email and and we'll respond back and let you know if we have something like that um i appreciate everybody showing up and hanging in there with this i know i kind of lost my little enthusiasm i shouldn't have i shouldn't have felt that way i shouldn't have acted that way probably and i'm sorry i just you know we have our show every other week and we only, I don't even come on YouTube a whole lot, you know, I only make a few videos here and there. But when I do, and I feel like, you know, that um, maybe some people don't want to be here because they're going to go watch somebody else. It just, I don't know. I guess it makes me feel some type of way. And I shouldn't have acted that way, but I just felt kind of like, uh, I look forward to this. So I wanted to have fun with everybody. Thank you, Barbara. We're glad you all joined us. Look at him. John's coming in here to brag about his jewelry finds. <laughs> he finds some good stuff. You need to let us see it. Have you been putting up your um, your little auctions on your page still? Because you know I go over there and I'll look. We'll be looking forward to it, Barbara. Barbara says she's going to join us. Great. And I hope y'all will because you'll see like, I know I have some stuff in here that's nice, but like really I have been hoarding the super nice stuff to start this. And so I think y'all will get really excited about pieces like pieces like this right here. If I'm not too in this, I, of course I'm in love with this one. This one goes back in my jewelry box, but things like this is what you can expect. Like if I can't, if I can part with it, 
it's going <laughs> it's going into that group and with that's that's really going to help when more people join that's more for us to go to these estate sales and auctions and things like that to find the estate pieces that are really super nice that we can include in that group well thank you barbara you're sweet lots of people to watch sister but i love to hear your voice laugh out loud oh thanks always love to be here april thanks angie <laughs> she kills me with the she says by my john brown phone <laughs> i hear i hear her voice <laughs> when i see john brown <laughs> All right. Well, Casey, do you want to say anything? Let me unlock it. That's one thing you should have reminded me. I had it still locked on the cell. Uh oh. Okay. Let me use my mouse. I'm having all kinds of technical difficulties today. There you go. Is it on you? It should be. Um, I don't know. It's on my side. It's still locked on you because I have you locked on. But um. No, you guys, thank you for joining and participating in the auction tonight. Um, tomorrow, 11 a.m., meet me on my channel for church. It's Thanks, Tara. I'm glad you had a good time. And I'm glad now that you're speaking and talking to us in the chats because we didn't know you were there before. It should be inclusions, transparent if it's high quality. What what are we talking about on that one? I missed it. On what? Oh. Um, I guess it's a stone or something. I must have missed it. I'll be at the gym, but maybe I'll come in a bit. I have no idea. This chat has been going crazy it, all night. It did go. It did go. <laughs> Yeah, the more people we have, which is what we want, you know, it's going to get faster and faster. But all right, we're going to let Casey go take his little nap nap. <laughs> Casey's going to take a fat sleep sleep. And we will see you soon with our next video. I will be on Cindy Loves Jewelry tomorrow at 4 o'clock, and then I'll be helping Kathleen with her auction that she will have tomorrow evening at... 7 Eastern time on her channel, which is this and that. Bye, guys. Night, you guys.